Hello, the world. Wait, something's funky. Okay, there it goes. Nope. We got we got tone. We got tone. Music's going for y'all. Yeah, cool. I got music. Y'all got music. It's different music. Uh, the one of these days. Oh, so if you want, um, actually, I need to do this on another window just in case. We'll just to try and avoid. A minute front. So what I'm doing right now, music. Oh, you know, the thing that sucks about this, right, is. Yeah. Because there's not a good way for me to turn down. Like, it's like you need your own audio controls. Um, that would be awesome. So that you could dial in the music or not. And that's whoops. That's exactly what I'm listening to. That's quite loud. Um, everything's broken. It's all good. That doesn't need to be there. This can be here. This is cool. Um, that may be a lot. That's whatever. All right. Yeah. So this, I'm just today is just kind of messing around. Um, I'm actually gonna probably write a little bit today, which is, we'll see how that goes, or whatever. It's fine. Uh, oh yeah, I should have switched that. Um, I think I have switched that, and it's so this was. Like yesterday, December fourth. Oh no, no, that is that is right. Okay, I did set that up properly. Um, I thought I edited that. So I put uh, a little blue. I want to see if I can take out some of the blue. I'm going via window light right now. So is that better? Is that too crazy? Yeah. How about there. Soup doesn't matter, but you know how it does. The funny thing is, like, if I keep that, so the color of the light changes. Like, window light is very blue light, um, and then the lights that I use when I'm streaming at night are much warmer. So, like, I have to take out the blue during the day and then add it back in during the night um, because colors. Uh, yeah, so. Did a did a really fun stream last night, uh, where oh you know what I don't know where my chat went. Hang on a second. Where's chat? I would like to make sure I can see it when people talk to me. Oh, this is it. Here he goes. Pop this out. Pop out. A thing that I discovered is if you pop out the chat window, you can size it down pretty substantially, like to there. But like if I copy that URL and so that's good because I don't have a lot of room off the side of my screen. But if you just copy that link and make a new tab, the max or the minimum width of the window is much larger than what you can do there. So it's like this big and I can't move it any tighter, which sucks because I have to keep like moving it back and forth versus this, which is like I can actually fit it directly like I have the the what you see isn't the full monitor. I have that much space over to the left and to the right. Um, so I hide the chat over there because like I, I blow everything up pretty big and it would be I kind of like the chat on the screen, really. Like I don't mind it, but it's not my thing. Um, also, we need to bump this up. We're going to go to 19 today. Uh, and see how that goes. Oh, actually, what I want to do is we're going to do an experiment that I should have done a long time ago. Because I was like, I was trying to go back and forth about thinking like, hey, I wonder what. I was trying to like eyeball looking at the laptop and thinking like, how, like how, how big do I want the fonts or whatever. But really what I need to do is just look at the phone. Um, which is another sign of, you know, you're live. Long press your avatar to get your stream manager. Hey, Dr. Lupo is going. Hey, Dr. Lupo. Uh, bear with me while I try and figure out how to get to, I can't actually see my stream. Can I do it this way? Stand by. Sorry, I just want to check this out, see how it's going. Um, or this is for you, really. go whatever live 
I'm just trying to check and see what the... Oh, yeah, this ones are fine, right? If you blow it up to do some stuff... Oh, yeah, that's good. So if that's at 19, I'm actually going to back that off to 18 just a little bit. And we'll watch and see how that goes. And then I'm going to do... So this is... Boring technical stuff, but like, you know, whatever happens sometimes. So this is actually going right now at 21. Let's put that at 19 as well. So but this 19 looks different than the other 19, than VS Codes, I think. Especially because it was 18 on the other one. Like that's definitely smaller. So we're going to bring that back up. 21. Yeah, 21's good there. Okay. Is that really? Those are such different font sizes. 18, it says. Is there something else affecting it? I don't know. Whatever. Um, but that's pretty good. That other one looks fine. <laughs> this is a test I should have done. Not live. <laughs> Whatever. Um, okay, that's good. I'm liking this. Let me just look at this one for a second when this comes up. And then NV Alt also is about the same size. We can maybe go up one on that. So that's at 19 as well. Um, well, delay is no joke. Yeah, I'm also doing so. Eminence Front is what I'm playing right now, and it's I'm just doing it on loop because it's a good like it's got it's a nice background, kind of keeps the thing going. Um, oh okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. 28 lines. So this is, it's telling me it's 110 lines by 28 lines up here. Um, yeah, and of course I'm looking at it on a high-res screen, but that's pretty slick. Um, yeah, that's good. I like that. That's a good compromise right there. Because it's, too, it's, I would not code in general at these sizes except that sometimes I now do just because I'm used to it <laughs> from the streams. Um, uh, whatever. Okay. Uh, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I do know part of what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this up. Um, so I started writing up the search. So is this on localhost? Yeah, this is on localhost. So on localhost, Where's index? Here we go. So I've got this search now. And I gotta figure out what I actually want to do with it. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. So what we're gonna do, that's what we can do, is I started writing it up and I realized that uh I want to this is only part of it. Like this right now just searches the titles. I actually want to search the content. And this is one of those things where this is a module called match something. Match sorter. Uh, which is a JavaScript. I think I've got this tagged. Yeah. Um, just a client side JavaScript search engine. And it's really cool. The The trick with it is, and the thing that kind of messed with me a little bit, and it still messes with me a little bit, is in order for it to be client side, the data that you're searching has to be on the client. Um, and also I just realized there's a configuration in there. So what I'm searching right now is just the titles. So I go through 
here in Hugo, um, this wasn't meant, this wasn't designed for Hugo. It was designed as an NPM module and it was designed in TypeScript and Hugo doesn't really do either one of those. So I got the, I found the source code um, just sitting on GitHub, like I found it, like whatever. It wasn't like an archeological dig or something. Um, but I got the search code, search code, source code and pull that and there's a TypeScript converter that takes type, TypeScript into JavaScript. So converted that into JavaScript, but then there's these module calls that didn't work. So we just kept ripping stuff out until we got it to go. Um, but the way we feed it is uh, I've got this search titles um, array here and this line followed by this end loops through all of the pages on my site or all the posts basically. Um, and then these two lines take a couple of the categories out. So browsing history and live coding I'm taking out. So I might add those back in for this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna actually add them back in. Um, but so anyways, once once I do that, this, this array does, or this loop does two things. Um, it creates the, it creates the array that all these random ones get chosen from. And then it also creates the values that go into the search. I'm actually going to split them and do have the search be its own thing. Cause I actually want to add in all the stuff, including the browser, uh, history in the search notes, stream notes, whatever they are. Uh, so constant select element. All right, I'm just going to copy all of this for a second. And put this up here. We're going to tab it over. So we're going to call these search objects now. So we don't need that. That's a duplicate. And we want to get rid of these two because we actually want to look through all of the pages. There's our pages that we don't need. Here's this. Here is these. We put a semicolon in there. And that there. It's fine. Um, all these warnings are because um, there's a lizard on my window. Are because VS code doesn't like Hugo's like it's it thinks it's a JavaScript, but like I'm putting Hugo tags inside of it and like that's not good JavaScript or not valid JavaScript. So hence the big red underlines there. Um, so we've got search objects. And let me just see if I broke anything there. All right, so this is where I'm not, oh, it did. Uh, is that because I'm not calling it anymore? Oh, no, that should have worked. I don't know, that didn't work. Search objects, search titles, push. I wonder if that's freaking out. Let's make this here. Okay, we're back. That was it. I was freaking out. Um, and then, so now we're going to use these search objects. And the way this works is, how do I tab over? So there's a way to just like, whoosh, kind of like that, but without having to do it that way. So I get all these search objects loaded in, which are basically the page titles. And eventually we're going to add the full contents of the page there. And so we get our select element, which is try to get this, which I'm going to name better in a minute, but we're only going to change a couple things at a time or one thing at a time. And then select an element, we add an event linser or two that's looking for a key press. We were first trying to do on change last night. And that only happens when you like tab out of the, uh, of the input box. Um, or, so, or otherwise blur it, which means not be not have it in focus. You blur it. Um, 
I'm gonna get rid of this for now because that's just showing some noise when we type things. Title matches live. Search events or search titles. And so really what we want is search objects. So we're passing, so the match, this is the match order. We're passing all of our search objects to it. Event target value is whatever is currently inside the input box in our form. And then keys is of the search objects, what key value pair are we looking at to do the search? And right now it's title. So that's how that works. Um, and, but what we're going to do, so A, we're going to see if this works out of the box. All right, sorry, we just made a couple changes. So we're going to see if this works um, before we go make any other changes. And then constant result document get element by ID. So we're getting this paragraph tag by ID. And then this is not at all probably a good way to do this, but it's functioning at the moment. So we're going to go with it. We just make a variable of an empty string and then we go through the all of the matches that we get from this array via its length and to the result lines we just append uh an anchor tag and the title um and a break, which didn't actually work. Or did it? Oh yeah, it's breaking. Okay. It's given different tags. Um, or different different lines, whatever. So now okay, so that worked. Okay, cool. There's our test. Uh sunset is the how I've been testing recently, that's fine. So now what I want to do, and this is going to get a little nuts, is when I do the pages. Oh, so I wonder, is there a way to see markdown, raw, markdown? Hugo, raw, markdown. Short codes. Raw HTML is not what I'm looking for. Raw HTML admitted. Using markup languages. So what I want, so Hugo is going to render the, so all these pages are markdown pages. Let's start at the start. So in this content directory, in all the files, the content starts as markdown files. But when you rent, but if they get rendered as HTML, if there are paragraphs in here, there would be paragraphs in here. Um, so like, all these are old ones, yeah, from 2007. So th I, this is like the third or fourth blog engine I've used. Um, and like formatting just went out the door during some of them. Um, so whatever, uh, somewhere in here, Nope. Okay. Whatever. Somewhere around here, there's some that have paragraphs in them. Uh, here. Let's go. Let's see if we can find one. Uh, Absolute Sandman. I was browsing us a letter. Absolute Sandman. Here's what Wikipedia says about it. Uh, each present in hardcover. Also includes supplement materials. Okay. Here's what Wikipedia had to say about it. Here. Let's just do this. Whatever. Um. Yeah, see all this stuff got crunched. It really should all be on one line. I'm not gonna mess with that right now, it's fine. Um, but what I want is for the data that we're gonna pass into the search, into the engine that's going to do the search, I don't want all the HTML. I don't want the HTML rendered. Probably wouldn't kill it, but like I wanna see if I can just pass the raw text. Short code with raw string parameters. Yeah, see this is passing stuff into short codes, which are like little mini templates that do assembly. Um, Hugo page. Um, 
Let me just see if we can loop through. Page level variables. Our drives are extracted from the content body itself. Contains all alternative formats for given page. Especially useful for link rel. Okay, here we go. Maybe this is helpful. Custom output formats, media types. I am looking for TXT. Do I get TXT? Nope. WebM, ooh, sass, text. There it is. Nice. JSX. I still need to look up what JSX is. Um, whatever, it's fine. So how do we use that? We find the right page, page variables. So I think... Contains all formats, including the core format for the given page. Can be combined with the get function to grab a specific format. Let's look at output formats too. Wait, is that what we're just on? Custom formats. Custom output format. Okay, that is it. Yes, that seems like an excellent thing to have. CSS, calendar, JSON, robots, RSS, sitemap. Oh, well, that's all the diff different stuff. All right, so I th let's just play with this and see what's happening. Hey! Right, so, Velcro, I'm not really into sports at all. Except for Alabama football. Uh, I went to the University of Alabama. Um, I was there for seven years. Had a wonderful time. I worked at the athletic department. Uh, but I don't really care about any other sports. But Alabama football, I'm into. So... Yes. My one non-geek tribute or trait or whatever. Uh, but are you, you aren't like an Auburn person, are you? Because if so, I, you know, again, I got to ban you. You understand, right? But yeah, we've got, uh, we got LSU tonight, um, which is a game that was supposed to happen a couple weeks back, but got, sp got postponed because a bunch of their players had COVID, which is a good reason to postpone a game. So the funny thing is, I actually, I mean, I have some understanding of how football works, but like for having watched as much football as I've watched and enjoyed it as long as I have, like all the play calling and all the other stuff. And like, I still don't actually know what the positions are. They're like, ah, oh, the tailback did this. And I'm like, yep, that was definitely somebody on the offense. Couldn't tell you which one. I knew who the quarterback is and I knew who the wide receivers are. But the offensive line, all the guys up front, nope, no idea. Same thing with the defensive line, nope. I know the safety is. The safety is the guy all the way back. He's like the safety valve, right? Um, but you, are you stateside? I can't remember. My memory is not so good. I feel like you're not stateside. Or are you? I don't remember. These things are not things that stick in my brain. Uh, all right, we're just going to try something, and we're going to see what's going to happen, because that's the way this works. Oh, Massachusetts. Okay. I had you pegged somewhere else. I don't know why. Uh, yeah. The So, SEC football is not as big a thing for you, <laughs> or your entire area, Um, but it's uh, it's definitely a thing down here. All right, so we got our this. So this is so page pages, range page pages. 
what is this giving me? Can we just do like dot? Um, page content. First of all, yeah, if we just do like dot, oh, let's put it in quotes. Dot, what was the thing that we were looking for? How do we actually do the custom formats? Okay, that's the MIME types, page variables, scratch. Contains the alternate formats for a given page. It's very little especially useful for link rel and your site's head. How do we use it? That is the wrong page. Where am I going? Over here, somewhere. The data specific to this type of page. Content, the content itself to find the below the font matter. But is that, I think that's an HTML. Let's just try that first and see what happens. This is gonna explode. Oh, it didn't explode. Look at that. See, it's on the page. Uh oh, everything broke. <laughs> it's trying to load a thousand posts right now inside the JavaScript console. There they are. Found them. Oh, it does not like that at all. I can't scroll. Nope, it is like the mouse. There we go. Whoa. Oh, I just hit the wrong button. Crap. I'm trying to see, I don't see any like, here's the word threshold. Giving a ranking score based on how well two strings, blah, -de blah. Wow. Advent of code. Okay, I'm seeing some words in here. Oh, these are all the, these are going in chronological order. These are all the URLs for my page grabber. All right, can I select all on this? It's thinking. It does not like this at all. This is giant. I want to see how big this is. All right, copy. Let's see if that actually worked. Oops, I don't know, I just closed. I thought I fixed the font size on that. Hang on a second. Uh, 17, whatever, it's fine. Is that gonna fix it? Yeah, there we go. Let me see what's going on. Oh, it didn't copy. Copy. I saw it flash. Nope. I just right clicked. I'm gonna see if the context menu comes up. Cause I wanna see how big this actually is. I'm about to not care. Edit, copy. Is that gonna work? Oh, it worked. Look at that, 2,900 lines. Okay, that's not actually as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Push, push, wait, it's not in there. All that stuff should be happening right here. Document, get element by ID. It should be happening right here. Oh my, wait a minute. 
how many columns is this? No? Okay. Oh, wait. Yep. Hang on a second. Here it is. Ooh, whoops. Don't do that. I am angering everything right now. So here, oh, what if we word wrap this? That's going to be the question. There we go. This looks like a hacker screen. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. There's your hacker screen right there. All right, so I want to let's save that. I want to see how big this file is right now. Um, whatever desktop somewhere. Give me the desktop. Okay, I'm on the desktop. Uh, site size check. Five meg. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, yeah. That's kind of check And the CSS file that I'm using is 4 meg. That would be 9 megs to download the homepage. Um, I kind of want to do it, but like, how would you do? All right, so it's 9 megs. Or sorry, it's five five point four megs, whatever. I'm actually curious how big it is without. So without that, it's gonna be broad public. Where's the index file? Oh, there it is. Without it, it's three hundred forty one k. Because that's the public. The public call, yeah, it's a lot of data. Um, let me just look and make sure this really is what I think it is. Hello world, digital garden. Yep, and there's all those. Okay. Um. Oh, this is funny. I could actually save some space by making these relative links. I'm not worried about that right now because I had to compress down fine. Um, also, I guess no, I'm not doing that twice. So that that's this is what's in production right now. So that's fine. Um, So here's the question. Well, yeah, no. So this is like I'm doing this digital garden thing, right? We're just gonna we're just gonna make this happen, even though it's not a good way to do it right now. Um, I mean, like it's super unoptimized, but that's like literally one of the things that it says on the homepage at the moment. Um, I gotta fix that at some point, or I need to spin up a new server, basically, there. See, when it's sitting on my local machine, that 5 megs loads like lickety split, but like, it's gonna be slightly different if you're coming over a browser. Um, but I wanna do, I'm gonna, I'll get that going. And then, next step will be to actually push it up so that it's got like we'll we'll set it up in a json object and pull it down independently so that we can load it asynchronously asynchronously um first step let's figure out how to call it right so the search would actually then go into page content here i guess we can do title too T-I-T, tit, -l. don't ban me Twitch for saying the T word. Uh, so we're pushing the title, the URL, and the content, which I don't know how Hugo is smart. Like Hugo apparently is smart enough to know this is inside a script. So it's doing ma like it's doing magic right now. That's awesome because I was afraid I was going to have to deal with all that stuff, and apparently I don't, and that's fantastic. Um, all 
Yeah. Okay. So that's cool. Um, what was I? I was going to limit something. There's going to be a limiter. I'll do that in a minute. Let's see if this works. All right. So. Uh, I don't know here. What's a good. I can just pick one, right? Um, getting the ass kicked, look at my house, tune up, video sampling, whatever. I am here. Nikon. Okay, we'll look for the word Nikon. All right, we'll look for the word Canon. We're going to find not the word Canon. Something broke. All right, we're going to back off of this for a second. All right, so we're going to load the page content, but not call it. Does that work? No. OK, we broke it for real. We didn't do anything. Oh, come on. Oh, no, no, no. We broke it. It was a working. Title, match title. I didn't change anything. What's going on? Search objects. We're pushing on the search objects. Something's funky. I'll try that again. Ooh, it's crazy angry right now. The fans are spinning. I wonder if it's still trying to do work somewhere. Uh-oh, we may have crashed. No, doesn't look like it. I don't know why. Kernel task is running at 95%. That's probably not helpful. Oh, come on. This was working. I didn't do anything. All right. Undo back to the beginning of time. Title, page content. There's title. You know, I probably could have looked at some error messages there. All right. Wow, it does not want to loop back into that. It is not happy right now. Gotcha. Okay, so it's something happening when we're... Hey, remember when I was just talking about how it's all great that it was doing all that magic for us? I'm not sure that it is. Page content. Dot content. Oh wait, so this needs to be in double, single quotes. Whatever, come here. That needs to be there. That needs to be there. It's quite possible I didn't have that lined up at all. This should refresh. Aha, okay. Failed render. Contingent with a G. That's probably not what we want. We probably want it with a T. It do take a minute to render though. Okay. So does this still work? That still works. Okay, now let's see if we can use it. Keys, page content. 
Refresh. Oh, it takes a little while. Cannon. There we go. Force could Oh, it's using 62 gigs of memory. Wow. Hello, memory leak. So, uh, I was looking at CPU. I was not looking at memory. Yeah, memory pressure is 100%. That's a bummer. So I, that probably means... That probably means that JavaScript thing won't really work for it. It's, it's possible that I just choked it out because, like, I had something weird going on there. But, like, it's also possible that that's just too many files. Well, but I mean, that should be reasonable, right? It's only 5 meg. How it got the 62 gig of memory, though, like, that's seriously concerning cannon and Santa Connor Sarah Connor yeah also this isn't the greatest search because like hand cannon is a thing Oh, I'm not doing. It's also way. Yeah, okay. This isn't. I don't know about this search. I think it'll be fine for now. Also, what's the memory doing now? PyCharm's up there. Where's Safari? I don't see Safari, which is a good thing. Where is it? Oh, there it is, way down there. Oh, it's only like 100 meg right now. Okay, I, who knows what, that is concerning though. Like that was a memory leak is what that was. I don't know where that was happening though. That's the wrong thing. Um, Hmm, but like I don't I'm not sure if I like Oh, I guess if you do it off the title first, that's not bad. Firing a hand cannon. There you go. All right. Whoops, that is not all what I meant. Let's try this. Python. Nope. It's also weird that there's like, there's the instant search results actually kind of messes with me just a little bit. Like I'm used to like doing, like hitting a search term and then hitting the search and seeing the thing. There we go. Um. Bear with me one second. Um, doing a tutorial, building screenshot rammer. Okay, so yeah, see so these are. Yeah, see, a bunch of these are going to pull in. Hmm. Uh, 
What are all these? Oh, yeah, so it does this weird... Let me look at the configuration for that thing. Which is somewhere close to me right now. Static sorter. So it's got case sensitivity equal seven, equal equals six, starts with five, words start with four, contains, acronym matches one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So those are the rankings. No match is zero. Let me go look at the docs for this real quick. Match sorter JS. A list of a bunch of items, filter these items intelligently. You want simple expected deterministic sorting of the items. No fancy math algorithm that fancily changes sorting as they type. This follows a sensible, simple and sensible user-friendly algorithm makes it easier for you to filter and sort a list of items based on a given input. I read this last night, but I was a little loopy. Um, items are ranked on basable, basic something. I gotta go look at this thing, because this song has now done its business. And it's time to move on. That'll work. One of these days I'll build my synchronizer and we can all listen to the same music together. Um, Case sensitivity, equality trumps all, right? Case insensitivity, equality starts with, if the item starts with the given thing, word starts with, if it has multiple words, then if one of those words starts with the given thing, okay, contains, if an item contains a value, acronym, Simple match. If the item has letters in the same order. See, simple match, I think we want to take out because that one throws me. Can you turn them off? Usage keys. Threshold, default, matches. Thresholds can be used to specify the criteria used to rank the results. Avail threshold from top to bottom or that. Oh, so you can pass the threshold Rankings, no match. Rankings equal. Match shorter things. App. So we're passing the keys. We also want to pass the threshold. Equal is super high up there on the list, but let's see what happens. Keys. Threshold. It's still loading. <laughs> it's local and it's still loading. That's awesome. Whoa. All right, what's that memory doing now? Oh, no, it's still okay. I'm just going to burn that tab. Okay, there we go. So...
That is super high. Equal. Which should be case and sensitive matching, but it must be off the start. It's freaked out. No, something's weird. Key alias. Okay, gotcha. Um, where are those rankings again? Key. Threshold, threshold number contains. Let's try contains. Okay, that's more reasonable. Sunset, Western, Sunset, Digital Pinhole, Test One. Oh, is it actually testing? Oh, okay, this is a good level. Because I'm looking for the word on the page. Python. Dates and times, capturing Python. Got to see, I got to think about if I want to put the live coding notes in there. Um, just because there's a bunch and that's kind of noisy. I don't think I'm going to do those. We're to take those out. Yeah, this is a little better. It didn't there was a bunch of noise in there. Oh, the places I go, I'm okay with having those in there. Those those are fine. Um, which are, that's my link collections. Even though, yeah, it's gonna be most of those. Um, I don't know it's how it's deciding to put all those down at the bottom, but I like it. Excuse me. This is cool. And actually, am I testing the full page content? I am, okay. And we're testing, and we're starting on content. Oh, okay, no, it's testing title first. Oh, okay, no, that's cool. Yeah, if the title matches first, do that. And then if you don't find it in the title, look at the page content. That's okay, that's cool. That's why these aren't showing up and like these words with Python in them are coming up top. That is a pretty effective little search algorithm. That's what that is. I wonder if it does like weighting or ranking in terms of like if it sees the word Python in there five times or whatever. Uh, so now the question is, what do we want to do with this? Um, yeah, right? Got yeah, lots of links. Um, so I'm doing client side searching right now. Uh, and I've got, well, so there's that a lot of links for the searching. And then there's these lot of links because I'm doing this like digital garden idea. And the way that I'm just messing around with this an experiment is I'm just randomly putting like a hundred links on each page. So if you like go to a page, like whatever, this page, there's just a bunch more links down there. And then you can go to this page, bunch more links. Uh, and if you refresh, they all change. Like it's completely random um, with no, like, I mean, it's like grab an integer, throw everything in an array, look and see what happens. <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's a good idea, but uh, it's what's happening right now. So we'll see how it goes.
Uh, and so this is trying to get search going. Um, and so I'm using this little JavaScript engine to do it, or the JavaScript file, module, whatever. And I think I've got it configured. Now I just need to see where I want to put it and like what I want to do with it. Um, Cause what I was thinking I might do is, is actually make it random as well with where it shows up and only make it show up some of the time. Yeah, exactly, it's progress. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the funny thing too is like right now I'm using um, Tailwind CSS, but like it's designed to work in a module via NPM and like you do all this stuff with it and it like only gets the parts that you need and makes this like customized file. I don't know how to do any of that and I'm not using React or anything like that. I'm on just like a straight static Hugo site. So I just grab the entire file, which is like a four meg file which is not really how you want to do that. But again, it's just like, I'm just trying to make progress. So <laughs> I'm doing it in a ridiculous way, but I'm making progress. Uh, same with this. And so what I think I'm going to do, we're going to play around with this, is I think I'm going to make the search its own little thing but then throw it in with the random stuff. I'll keep it I'll keep it up high so it's in one of the first couple ones. But so it won't always be there and sometimes it will be there. Um, oh by the way, the refresh so every 5 minutes a new page or a page gets updated on my site with new URLs. So that's why you see it blink out every now and then. You're a front end JS kind of guy? Right. Oh, you're not a front end, right? What uh, what stuff do you do? Are you techie at all? Or are you just like hanging out and thought this would be interesting to watch? Because that would be cool too. Um, if, but you said not front end JS. So I'm assuming, oh, Haskell. I have heard that term a lot and I have never even looked at the language. Think term is language beauty. I'm with you. I, uh, I have like, I don't know, like in martial arts, I would say I've got like green belt, maybe yellow belt, like white, yellow, green, blue, red, black, I think is some, one of the ways you do it. Like I'm probably yellow or green belt with it, but like watching people who really know what they're doing on the terminal and spend all day in it is like, I do that all day because it's magic to me. Um, and it's funny because like, I don't know that much with it, right? I know some of the basics. That is not what we're looking for. Um, but like people who don't know it at all watch me and they're like, oh, you're a wizard. I'm like, no, really not so much. Haskell, I've never actually looked at Haskell code before. This looks intimidating. Type classes, origin, oh, classes origin in Haskell. I didn't know that. Hello world in Haskell, all right. Is an interpreter? Is it a fault in a module file? Compiler, okay, so main IO. Okay, I gotcha. Put string line, okay, cool. Factorial, function in Haskell defined in a few different ways. Using recursion, factorial zero equals one, factorial n equals n times factorial. Okay. I don't really remember my factorial, like math. So using fold. Okay. Syntax is kind of neat looking. Interesting. Yeah, I so eventually I want to play around with, you know, every language there is, but um, is Haskell at all in the same vein as Lisp? I feel like I hear those two talked about together, not like it's the same thing, obviously, but like maybe it's the same, I don't know, something. Um, but I may be like, and if that's offensive to Haskell people or to list people, apologies. Uh, I don't know enough about it. 
think they're both functional declarative languages. Okay, okay. That, okay, when you say that, that sounds right, or that sounds familiar. Um, and that's the functional language syntax is very different. Okay. The functionalist language, like literally you just put functions, like it's nothing but clumps of functions, right? Is that accurate? I've kind of not really done functional stuff, I don't think. I mean, I've done functions in things, but not like functional language full stop. Uh, whoops, that's the wrong thing to go to. That's Python. Um, oh, so the other thing I want to do is, so I've got this captured right now. So I want to throw this in, I'm writing a blog post about this stuff too. Um, whoops, it is somewhere. Functions are big. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah. The first language I did was Perl, and would would just and that's like. I bought a couple books about it way back. Um, I'm. The term self-taught, I think, is you know whatever, um, but like. I didn't. I don't have any formal training in it, but Perl was the first thing I got, and like my stuff was all straight procedural stuff. So like, learning about like classes and functions and like all the other stuff just like ooh, this is I wish I knew this years ago kind of regret not having like formal training or not regret but like I would have progressed a lot faster if I'd had some training but like these days there's so much stuff available that like I would like to think that I would have actually gone through and done a bunch of the like tutorials and stuff uh let's go here I don't remember what I called this is gonna be tricky. So I took all the dates off all the stuff and it's all random and I started a post and I've got no idea what I called it. Uh, <sighs> content, right. And so this is, so that was all, why is that all the same date? So did I move that over then? Is that what happened? I don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah, and it's, but like at the same time, Pascal, right? Wow. I've heard of that too, but never really looked at it. Pascal, Pascal. I realized as soon as I said it that I wasn't sure what the pronunciation was. It's gonna do that. Let's do this. Language. Oh, this is like hardcore or old school. That doesn't look that different from lots of languages, right? That's not awful. Yeah, a book that I keep talking about is uh, 1970. Yep, been a bit, been a minute, as they say. A, a book that I keep talking about is um, no secret. This one, find the code, the hidden language of computers, like. This book is the one where I first kind of got it like click click of like it really is all ones and zeros underneath there. Like it starts with this whole idea of like, hey, if you have a light switch, it's on and off. Right. And there's your binary. And then like if we're trying to do like, you know, Morse code, like you would go click, 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 like and all this other stuff. And it's just it's really it's a neat. Um, I'll throw that in chat if you care to look. Um, but like that's when I really kind of first got that like all the programming languages are all talking to the chip that is just moving ones and zeros around. So like if 
its ease of use and like, I don't know, whatever. It's all, it's an interesting book. I don't know where I was going with that. I thought I did and then I didn't. Um, so what I'm trying to do right now is to find what did I call, so, um, uh, sort. Hey, there we go. Um, adding search to, okay. Yeah, let's just do this. Whoops, nope. Uh, adding search to Hugo sorter index. There we go. So I'm writing a blog post about the thing. So I just I just figured out uh, somebody on chat last night showed me this um, this JavaScript file that I'm using to do. That is not what I was looking for. Uh, this search stuff. And I just want to write up a little post about it just to try and if somebody else like it took a couple hours to figure the stuff out. So I'll throw it up there. And if somebody else runs into the same issue, hopefully it takes them less time. Something's weird. What's happening? Where'd my search stuff go? Did I cut it? <gasps> I cut it. <laughs> Oops. Thank you, undo. Because I don't think that was in version control yet. Uh, include that file, then use it like this. So we're going to get rid of this because people don't need to sort this stuff out. Ow. Oh, wow. That just zap. Oh, my. I bought $9 headphones. I have three pair, three pairs of headphones for $9. And they just electrocuted me a little bit. So... We won't be using those. Ow. That was unpleasant. I I I did not enjoy that. It wasn't awful, don't get me wrong. It it's it scared more than it hurt, but um but still not not really my thing. I like these. These are better ones, but they unfortunately are kind of like the wires a little crimp somewhere and they're kind of freaking out. <sighs> I will lose all three of those. Hey, thank you for the follow. Awesome. Appreciate it. I don't have anything to say like welcome aboard or like that's just, I appreciate it. Come on down. Um, That was really disturbing. <laughs> uh, the volume's all messed up here. Hang on one second. These are also um, like they fit all the way in your ear. So it's like everything just changed auditorially Aud or orally orally. Um, all right, let me just put this in real quick. Oh wait, no, I need that. I just don't need the div. Uh, okay, that's cool enough. I'll deal with that later. All right, so now the trick is to use this. Um, so most recent language that I'm messing around with is Python. Um, I did a lot of Perl. I did a fair amount of Perl way back. Uh, I did Ruby for a little while. I did JavaScript back before JavaScript was like JavaScript that it is now. Um, but Python's what I use mostly, mostly these days. But I'm not like, development isn't my main gig. Um, I probably spend five to 10% of my time in my job doing development stuff. And it's usually like little scripty stuff to like 
act as glue between systems. Um, most of what I'm doing these days is this is related to this kind of stuff. Um, like, and I've been out of the game for a while, so like, I'm, I'm I'm back into working on my website and having a grand time doing it. Like, uh, it really, this whole digital garden idea has really got me like, this is awesome. But like, I haven't used CSS since CSS one, and I think it's CSS three now. But like, I'm looking at all this stuff and I've got like no idea what's going on. But I don't like whatever. Cool. Like, figure it out. Um, but yeah. So is your you said you do terminal stuff. Do you do like admin stuff or like what's your what's your kind of gig? And do you do programming stuff as well if you're on terminal or like are you do you do bash? Because that also looks like magic to me. Uh, let's see. Um, how do we want to implement this? So we've got our randomness happening here. This is what, so right here is where we build all these. So I just load in all the posts, grab their titles and their things and, and click them out. So what we could do So one way to do this would be if we come up with or do a financial application. Oh, double bookkeeping type. Nice. Uh, we worked on a bookkeeping type thing at work. I helped. I, I was like tangentially involved in it, and that stuff gets tricky pretty quickly. Like it's one of those. The description seems kind of simple, and then you start getting it. Like I don't know if you're finding this, but for us or for me, it was one of those where it sounded simpler than it turned out to be, which is like most projects, right? But like that one especially. Um, and it was just largely it was an exercise of going through and understanding what the requirements really were because like you and it's like a lot of projects where you hear like what the what the end user is saying and you have an idea about it but then later you realize that there's actually a gap between what they were saying and what they actually needed um so i don't know if you're if you're running into that stuff as well oh you're doing this project to learn too oh, right on cool yeah like i'm a big fan of like whatever whatever you get to code on like coding's progress Practice, 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 right? Um, okay, so we don't need the script in the div, so we can rip that out. And we can put that back down here. Oh, right on. Cool. You're the client. Nice. Is uh mostly doing random stuff. That's how I started. Um, it's just kind of whatever caught my fancy. I would mess around with the the way that I kind of do stuff is I'll have an idea to do a thing, and I don't know how to do the thing, so I just kind of I mean it's like this stuff like. I, I am 100% sure that if you showed this stuff, like I know that I'm doing some stuff that isn't like best practices, but there's also probably a bunch of stuff that I don't know that I'm doing that's also not best practices. But like I'm making the page show up right now. So like that's the first step. Like I'm, I can worry about how much progress I want to make with the rest of the stuff later. So I'm a big fan of the random stuff. That's, I mean, clearly, because I randomize all this, right? Different random, I know, but still random. A new to Python question. Is it easier to use Conda for installing Tesseract for an OCR project? That's an excellent question. The dub, 
I'm not sure what to call you. I'm going to call you the dub. Is that cool? Uh, I don't really know much that much about Python. Is it easier to use Conda for installing Tesseract? I don't know what Tesseract is. Um, I'm going to spell it right. For an OCR. I know what OCR means. Oh, whoa. Tesseract Python. Oh, Tesseract OCR. So, so I use PyCharm, and apparently the version of PyCharm I has has Anaconda with it, but I don't totally know what Anaconda is. Is it kind of a package manager? And like I was saying, I like I learn the stuff when I run into it, basically. Um, Python, Anaconda. Yeah, it is package manager. Okay, cool. Oh, distribution of uh, Python with R. Okay. Simplify package under the toilet. Yeah. Uh, so I use Python virtual environments, right? Um, do you use P E N V Py E N V or whatever? Because we can. I'll. I'm happy to test and see what happens. Um. So let's go to the desktop. Let's make uh Tesseract test, and here. I'm going to do pi env virtual env. So I'm making a new virtual environment, right? Uh, 3.9.0. And I'm going to call it venv tesseract -E test. I don't know if I'm spelling that right. It'll be close enough for jazz right now. Give this a minute. And then here we do pi env local because in this directory we want to use the virtual environment that we just set up uh oh i thought it auto completed that okay there we go so now it's we're hot there um let me go here so i can see you again Uh, Tesseract. Let's go find it. Python. Tesseract. You're just looking for the install? Or, uh... Yeah, let's just try pip install and see what happens. CV2. Oh, it's using, uh... Oh, is this, does it use OpenCV? Google's Testract OCR engine. Oh, it's a Google thing. Well, that's cool. Oh, this is really cool. Here, homepage this. Where's the... Uh... Pi Tesseract. Why doesn't it tell me how to install it? Installation. Okay. You'll need Python image library under Debian, this package, install OCR, additional info, how to install, do you have a um, Mac or a Windows machine or what's your, what's your platform? I want a Mac by the way, so we'll see what happens. Oh, so under Debian you need this, for Mac OCR users, just please install with Homebrew. Windows, okay. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be super helpful to you then. Um, because... Oops, that went to the wrong window. Totally went to the wrong window. I don't know where that just went. Hang on, I broke everything. Ah, what's going on? Whoops, broken. Oh, test, okay. Pillow friendly. I don't know what that means. Apt get, so it's looking like it wants to do Windows Mac, Windows. Proposed download consists of standalone package. 
Conda. Okay, for me, if I don't see like code lines under Windows and I see one under Conda, I would 100% give that a shot. I don't know what Conda Forge is. Uh, install Conda, Conda Forge. Yeah, like, so a thing that I have kind of still getting my head around after many, many years of doing this is like, there's part of me that like wants to make sure that I do it the right, right way. Like what's the, the one true way to do a thing when in reality, like, right, there's probably a few different ways that work. And I've recently gotten more okay with like, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a minute, look around. And then I'm just going to like pull the trigger and see what happens. Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, let me know. What you, I'm curious. What do you, are you, can you say what you're OCRing or can like, what's your project? Um, I've never done OCR stuff really before. I've done QR stuff before, but not OR. Oh, and thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. That is awesome. Were you here when my headphones zapped me? Because that was also very entertaining. If you weren't, my headphones zapped me and I'm no longer using those headphones. I kind of want to play with this now. I got to stay focused though. I'm going to add this to my list of things to mess with. Oh, you know what I should do? I'm going to make my new page. So... Y'all in the stream are going to see the new magic. So Hugo new, this is how I make new files. Hugo new secret. So I'm making a new web page for my, or yeah, page for my site right now called secret. Things to play with. Uh, still don't remember how to spell it. This is, yeah, whatever, this one's fine. How do you spell it? Tesseract. So on my page right now, everything is random and there's no like specific links to things. But I'm going to have one page up here that's just like, you know, my site slash secret that will actually be like a collection of links and configuration and whatever, just to see what happens. Um, it's also mainly so I can find stuff. And eventually, like, this is all just kind of a work in progress stuff. So I'm not going to keep my site like this for too long. Um, oh, for Uni Project, right on. Yeah, I did. Um, I did some QR code stuff a while ago. Though I use Python. There's some some good Python libraries out there that you can throw an image at it, and it'll translate the QR code for you. Um, that was super cool. We were doing some like headshots, and we wanted a good way to like automatically determine who was in the headshot. So we'd do a thing where we'd print out QR codes that would have people's names and IDs on them. They would hold up the paper with a QR code for the first head for their first headshot. And then you'd shoot several without them holding the paper. Right. And then the next person would come up and hold them. So when you just process the batch of photos, you would just look for the QR code and then you would tag all the rest of the photos with that same ID until you saw the next one and the next QR code and then kind of walk down. Um, it was really, it was a fun little project. Um, yeah. And like, I, OCR is fun. Like that sounds like a, that does sound like a fun thing to mess around with. Just recognize numbers of bars for any project that has a bar or a number, for example, store. Okay, that's cool. Right. Hello, Summer. Uh, Summer State of Mind. That's a good. I like that name. Um, so at work these days mainly I do Python. Um. I'm not a big developer at work. I only spend five, maybe 10% of my time doing dev stuff. Um, so, and like, 
a bunch of the stuff I'm doing is like trying to figure out how to like get Amazon uh, container service working with our Docker instances and everything going. So, and I'm not, I'm not responsible for that. I just kind of help out. Um, and then now I'm doing a little bit of JavaScript stuff, but, but Python is mainly, is mainly my go-to at the moment. Um, and that's what I'm doing my, like, if I need to build a little tool or whatever, that's what I'm doing. Um, the other one though, that's got my interest, not work wise, but it's rust. Uh, cause I'm on a discord where a bunch of people have been doing some rust stuff and it looks super interesting. And I've never worked with a compiled language before. I've only ever worked with scripting languages. And so that a, it looks interesting to me. B I'm on a discord with a whole bunch of people who do it so I can ask questions, um, and figure that out. So how about you coding stuff or what's your, uh, what's your flavor? Oh, and by the way, I should also say like. My caveat is with that stuff is like I'm not religious at all about any language or framework or whatever. Like they're all just tools. If the tool does the thing that you need it to do, it's a good tool. If it doesn't, find another tool. Or keep banging on it till it works, which is kind of the way that I go. Uh Python work too. Also web dev react. See, React is my next thing. I'm doing I'm redoing my site right now. Um I've, I've used static sites for a while. I used to use Jekyll and now I'm using Hugo. Um, and I started looking at React, but I really wanted to get my, I really wanted to redo my site. And it was gonna take me a while to learn React. So I was like, I'm just gonna redo it. I'm just gonna hack through Hugo and make it do the stuff that I wanna do right now. Um, but React is the next thing. Cause that same Discord I'm in, a whole bunch of people are into React. So again, I've got like validation that a lot of people are, are digging it. But also I can go ask questions in there if I get hung up on stuff or when I get hung up on stuff, let's be honest. Um, oh, you've done a little bit of Ruby too? Yeah, um, I, I I did some Ruby five years ago um, and I really like the syntax of Ruby. Like it felt, this is gonna sound weird, but it felt pleasant to use. Of course I was coming from Perl, so like, sure. But like I still I still have fond memories of the of the Ruby stuff. Um, it's just the kind of the community stuff that I'm doing now is all Python stuff. Like we do, we use Python at work. We don't use Ruby. So Python, or like the people who do all the work use Python. So I use Python. Um, yeah. Okay. So and then I have to figure out JavaScript too. So can we do? Uh, I have used Kali Linux. I don't um, just, I've installed it like once and then I know some people who use it for real. Um, but I just, I run a Mac plain and simple. Um, the, uh, and then for, uh, for work stuff, we've got, you know, enterprise licenses to whoever um, on our Linux boxes. And, uh, but I don't, I don't do ad admin stuff or mess with that. So it's been a long time since I've actually like driven a Linux box. Uh, the, the command line stuff on Mac is cl close enough for me. Um, and whatever, it's free. Is that free BSD under there? I can't remember. It's not, it's different than a lot of Linuxes, but it's like some of the other ones. I don't remember all that stuff. Um, I just know that I can do LS and CD and grep. And that's 80% of what I do on the command line. Um, used to be named Backtrack. The good old days. Wait, which did? Kali or the OS for under Mac? I don't, I don't know what Backtrack... I, I've never heard of Backtrack before. Oh, pin testing. There you go. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Am I on an FBI list now that I've searched for this? Is that what just happened? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, th I think I put it on a box one time. Just about, well, I actually didn't even install it, if I'm remembering right, because that's one of those two that you can use the... Uh, oh, I forget what it's called, but the 
the disc where it doesn't actually put it on your computer. It just runs off the CD or runs off the USB or whatever. What is that called? Oh, you put it on a Pi? Nice. No, oh, put it on a Pi to download it? Yeah. Um, that was Kali Linux illegal. <laughs> uh, so I, uh, way back, um, and again, they're going to keyword me on all this stuff, but like I, uh, I discovered Metasploit um, and was messing around with it in the office and accidentally kind of got into some other computers, but I like, I went straight to the network. Actually, I was kind of with the network guys, like I knew them or whatever, but I was like, can I show you something? <laughs> Cause I feel like you need to know about this. Cause this took me about 12 seconds to do. Um, yeah, because Metasploit still, and legitimately, I'm going to go use a different browser right now. Um, S-P-L-O-I-T, right? Metasploit? Yeah. Is Metasploit, that used, I think that used to be on Kali. All this stuff is kind of back in my brain a little bit. Um, but I, I I actually met a pen tester at one, like a like that was his like full-time gig or whatever. Uh, and I kept trying to, or kept meaning to, not trying to, but kept meaning to like say like, hey, can I just watch you work for like, I don't know, an hour? Um, I mean, I'm sure it's just command line stuff and like whatever, but like it would just be fun to like watch that. I haven't used Metasploit in forever. Mm, I love it. February, December. Yep, Metasploit wrap up. Actually, yeah, actually, let's leave that. We'll do that here. So, uh, S P L O I T. So I actually, I capture all the links that I open during the stream and then make, that's like my stream notes um, for as much as I do stream notes or whatever. But I want to put Metasploit in there because that's fun um, and whatever. It's pretty sure it's not illegal. You see your kid and never try it again? Yeah. Um, well, it's funny because like, when I first started doing some of this stuff, it wasn't, uh, hey, Summer, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that a lot. That's very cool. I still feel like, like, part of me feels like I need to have like a slogan or a thing, but that's just not exactly my style. So it's like, but I feel like it'd be nice to have like a welcome to the whatever. So welcome to the whatever. <laughs> I found it. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, I just amused myself a lot. Sorry. Um, oh, I completely lost my train of thought. All right. That happens sometimes. Uh, you and, and officially, officially y'all are the first people that have joined the whatever. The, the, the other people who've came before you they're the pre-runner followers, but they are not part of the whatever yet. You all are the first of the whatever. They they'll get in retroactively, sure, but like, you're part of the whatever. You're the you're the. What's the name for the like the first the inaugural inaugural whatevers? <laughs> okay, I'm a little, I didn't have enough sleep last night, so I'm a little slap happy. Um, so, also, who cares? Whatever. Explanations are fun. Um, all right, what were we gonna do? We were gonna see, oh, there's Python. Yeah, so I'm making a bunch of storage notes. Um, eventually I'm gonna put all that stuff up on the site too. This digital garden idea is just in my head and I'm loving it. Welcome to the digital whatever. Yeah, the digital whatever. That is perfect. That is perfect, I love that. I release Python though, work with fluids. Nope. 
you work with fluids like liquid fluids or like fluid dynamics probably called ansys if you know it i do not know ansys we shall look that up because that sounds like something that Analysis simulation software? Ansys? This is like hardcore. Simulation of fluids. Okay, yeah. Okay. So this is hardcore. What? How powerful are the computers that you use? Because. They're probably got some horsepower. I'm guessing. Yeah. Think again. Too much power. Is there really such a thing as too much power? And computer world, not in terms of like people, because people can definitely have too much power, but like CPU. I mean, I guess it all comes down to uh I was doing so. I'm doing another little project where uh, I'm making randomized music videos from NASA footage, um, and so I'm using FFmpeg, which is just a the command line thing to help do it. And I was actually going to look at, and I'm still going to do it, but I want to get like one of the Amazon uh, machines that you can rent that has like 128 processors in it just to see how quickly that goes versus my five-year-old Mac. Um, but like I've been running, uh, so the, the, what I do is I grab the videos from their API and I pull them down and I, the first thing I do is split them up so that I can like know how long the clips are, want it to do the reassembly. But like I only grab like 300 videos and the splitter has been running for a, mm, 10 days. So it's like, I'm not going to pay for one of these. Like at first I was like, oh, maybe we'll pay for an EC2 instance for a little while. But it's like, those things are like four bucks an hour times 24 hours times 10 days. It's like, I don't know what that number is, but it's, well, actually I can tell you what that number is. So four times 24 times 10, I'm not going to pay a thousand dollars to clip up videos. I will just let it take a lot of time. Uh, I'm, I've got no problem with that. Uh, cause that's a thousand dollars and I have way better things to do. Should I run into an extra thousand dollars with that thousand dollars? Um, all right, all right, let's see. Let's, what are we doing? Uh, so here's, here's what, here's what I'm thinking is we could put in so I don't have to deal with the script part of it, right? All I really need is this. And I'm gonna hang on to this for right now. So we're gonna make we're gonna turn that into its own little string. Um <laughs> you're no joking. No joking? Not joking. I hear you. You are correct, kind friend. Um Yeah, I don't know. This kind of stuff is just, it's still so just weird. Um, like I look outside and it's, well, I don't know where y'all are, but like here, Florida, it's still like sunny. And it seems like in all the movies, when plague stuff is going on, it's like there's dramatic music and it's all dark and stormy and like there's guns. And now it's just like, yep, nope. There's just a lot of people getting sick. It's surreal. Um, all right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to make this a... Ooh. I'm sorry. I, I kind of try not to do that, actually, and talk about the weather here. Because I recognize that it is not like it is here, basically everywhere else. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> May your toes stay unfrostbitten. Because that's nuts. Oh, that's a good question. 
I don't know if that's better or worse, actually. And better or worse in circus. I actually don't know which one of those is colder. Um, minus 4C to F. 24. You say not that cold, Gaffa, but like, I think there's some acclimation stuff going on there because I would describe that as that cold. But again, I live in Florida, so I recognize that that is not, not my thing. Yeah, my ass would freeze at 24 too. Sorry, no. No blue language here or whatever. Um, but I, I have very much acclimated down to this uh, to this temperature. Oops, I broke everything. Uh, search div. We're gonna see if we can just slide this sucker. Right in here. Does that work? Okay, cool. So now I'm going to comment this one out. And yes, I'm leaving bunches of comments in here. Um, just because I'm still like, this is almost like a scratch pad to me right now, even though it's live. But again, that's the kind of the digital garden type of just like, hey, just do it. See what happens thing. Don't take it too seriously. OK, so now what we can try and do is, so I'm just going to hard code this in for a second, which is going to say, if I, which is not a good variable name, equals four, right? Wait, how do you do ifs in JavaScript? Gotta be in paren? I don't know. Equals four. Does this work? Document.write, which I also know document.write, I think is completely out of favor these days. Well, let's see if that doesn't put there it is. <laughs> uh, we can make it float around. Uh, the expansion of water happens at four degrees almost. Just for the info. Might be more acclimated, as you said. Yes. If So my evidence for you being more acclimated than me is one, you asked Fahrenheit or Celsius, and I was like, oh, okay, cool, I hadn't really thought about that, but really the main case when you said, not that cold then, we have different, we have different um, thicknesses of blood uh, at that point. Because no joke, I don't do this as much, but like when it gets like 55 down here, I'm putting on a fleece. If you're used to 24, I'm guessing that's not what you're doing. Um, cause that, that's the kind of cold that's like, I just, um, my body doesn't know what to do with it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is also gonna be awesome. Oh, it didn't work. Well, that's a bummer. Why didn't it work? Should have worked. So we've got, yeah, why didn't it work? We spit it out. Oh, wait, did I take out? Oh, I took out the JavaScript. I'm not populating it. Oh. When I say I can't imagine that, I, I mean, I really can't imagine that. Like I've been cold before and I've been in colder places before and a few times I've been in cold places where it was so cold that it hurt, but like it was never minus 21 and stuff wasn't freezing. Like that is just amazing to me. Uh, also, I think I completely, I cut it again, didn't I? Oops. All right, so hopefully it's in my notes. Oh no, it's in this page. Nope. There it is. We want to have this. 
Oh, and actually, I want to put this in my other notes too. Uh, notes, Hugo, JavaScript, search. Just put that in there. It's fine for now. I'm a big fan of notes. Big fan of notes. Big fan of notes. So if we take this stuff. And we load this up here. I need to format this at some point. We're probably going to do that right now. It's not the greatest formatting, but it'll be formatting at least. And I don't. Well, actually, I'm not going to. I'm going to only change one thing at a time here. Um, I want to see if I can get this alive again. Nope. Uh, broke it. Running of home failed. Exclude template, blah, 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 blah. Well, we know it changed. The concerning thing is why? Did he do something else? It's gonna be in there, right? Is that what happened? Yep. Render paginate pages. Oh, uh, wait, I think. Running your home failed. Execute template failed. If branches end in different contexts. What? So here's the name. I don't have an if. This works, right? Yep, okay. It worked up here. All right, hang on a second. I want to put it back up here for a second. No. Oh, crap. What? Oh, I'm not in script tabs right there. Wait, yeah, I am. No, I'm not. Every now and then my mouse does that. I don't like it. Uh, script. On script. Is this gonna work? Okay, that works. Okay, well, we're just gonna do that then. Nope. Too much. Also too much. Undo. Script. Script. I'm just gonna keep it in the same. Here. I'll just plop it right here. I don't care. Does that work? That works. Okay. Is it still alive? It's still alive. Okay, cool. So now we can comment this out. So that should go away. Okay, cool. That's down there. So that's in the slot four. Uh, zero index. So zero, one, two, three, four. Um, so now let's randomize it. I have not committed this code in a very long time. Living on the edge. Search div. So search div slot equals random interval from Zero, one, two, two, nine. And then if our integer equals that, so this should make it jump around. Jump around. Hey, 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 jump around. So there it is. Refresh. Uh-oh. It likes to stay there. What's going on? Uh oh, whoops. I can't play that, otherwise they'll YouTube will yell at me. Wind this, uh... oh, there it goes. Ah, nice. 
again, I'm just, uh, this is, I'm just looking at this as one little, big, little experiment. Um, and again, like nobody, like people don't use websites like they used to or whatever, but like if somebody happens to hit the page, one, they're probably not gonna hit the home page. Oh, I could do this on every page. This is just on the home page right now, but I could do it on every page. All right, so that's there. Oh my God, these pages are gonna be huge. And now the other trick I wanna do is, is make it not show up all the time. Show search, SEA aren't search div equals random int from zero to one. I'm assuming you can do that. And I'm assuming we can also do this. How do you do JavaScript's ands? And? I, no, and search div. equals one. So let's see. Oops, hang on. Wrong. My chat is in Chrome, but I my link catcher is in Safari. So I want to get it in Safari. Whoa. Ah, it's a myth. It's not a myth. That's crazy. Yeah, so baseline, it's up a degree and rising fast. Wow. And this is, so this is a thousand years, right? Am I reading this right? This is 2000? Oh yeah, March 2008. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's kind of terrifying. That's what that is. Click and drag the pot area. Oh, that's cool. Whoa. Oh, nice little visualization. How do I back out of it? Reset zoom. I like the data viz. The data itself is concerning. Is it resized too? Yeah, look at that. See, it's a good viz. I wonder what they wrote that in. SVG, Let's see, is this D3 or not? That's not the D3 we're looking for. That's not the D3 we're looking for. Nor is that. Nor is that. Nor is that. Huh, I don't know what they did that in. Uh, I just wanna see if I can figure out what the uh, I'm not seeing it. Um, I was gonna see what engine or what uh, what software they used to, to do it. Preloader, display non JavaScript. Oh, it's Google Ad Services. Never mind. Script. What's in here? Goog snippet vars. I've got Google Analytics on my site right now, but I'm about to take it off. I I want to know some basics, but I like I'm I want to get away from the Google stuff. So I think I'm gonna go into um, try and get off the Am so I'm, this is served off Amazon's S3 system, and uh, CloudFront is in front of it. So I want to figure out how to actually like just use the like I can just use the logs once I figure out how to get into them. Climate levels. 
show me where you came up from. Calls, YouTube stuff. Boop, 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 boop. I don't see it. I'm about to give up. Or I'm about to have crossed my threshold of concern about it. Oh, right on. Can I just paste that into Google? What happens if you just paste that in? Google is so on it. I don't know how to zoom out because I have no idea where I'm looking. Zoom out. I'm getting an idea. Hey, okay, I was close. So wait, are you Sweden or Finland or I can't tell if this is the border. Like, I think that's the border. So, Sweden. Okay, all right, all right I gotcha. Uh, a good buddy of mine is from Sweden. Uh, he's been here for, like, at least 20 years. Um, Jonas, uh, or Jonas, I think is closer to how he says it. Um, really good dude. Everybody I've met from Sweden has been good people. Don't screw it up. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Sorry. Um... Oh, look, it disappeared. That's awesome. It Randomly, it should come back at some point. Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh. This is... I'm just having fun with it. Like, it's not... And again, like... I realize that this could be feel like I'm messing with people. And that is not at all my intention. I'm just looking for... A non-standard experience. And again, nobody really goes to websites and like messes around with websites anymore, but like, let's have a little fun with them. Um, and like, probably nobody will actually notice this stuff, possibly the search box, but like the randomization. So I actually wrote about the randomization on the homepage. I'm like, hey, everything's random. <laughs> if you happen to notice it. Um, that's that's uh, that's fun. Okay, so that's got that. Um, Now, do I want to do, yeah, I want to do that on all the pages. So let me, let me, uh, first thing, I haven't committed this code in six years. Uh, where is it? Um, uh, add random search box to home page. All right, so now let's put it in. Now we've got working code, right? So hopefully this is not critical. And again, like this stuff is a mess. It's absolutely a mess. But that whole digital garden idea of like, I'm just playing in dirt right now. Like eventually this will grow into something that I kind of refine and like, I don't know, do one of those like bonsai tree things where you like make it all pretty looking. But right now this is just like the seed of the thing. Uh, ba -bum, ba -dum, ba -ba. Somehow I got the surfs in my head. Or Jay Giles Band Centerfold, one of the two. If you really want to challenge, if you're familiar with both of those songs, Jay Giles Band Centerfold and the Smurfs, try to whistle one of them and then try to switch over to the other one. Because if you can do that, you are a witch. It is magic. All right, we've got those, we got this. This is our script. Yeah, exactly. Um, it, it is my mess. Uh, and like, so when I do, 
I do code like one of two ways. Either I really try and make it look nice or I do like this and I'm just trying to get it going because this is almost like a prototype. Except it's not because it's live. But again, like that that mind shift and I'm going to keep talking about this because it's like it's so in my head and like I just did this like two days ago. So it's just like right there in terms of like just just work on the thing um, and I can come back and like if I run into problems with it later, go fix it. Right. So, yeah. Um, but but with code that I work on that other people have to use, then I try and get like, OK, let me let me make sure that these things all make sense. There is like the variables really good. Like so right now and I'm actually kind of surprised I did this like this let I that is not like me at all. I almost never do that. Um, in fact, now that I'm looking at it, <laughs> we're going to switch it. Um, let. So system events, key press. Title matches, live link. So this is doing, what is this doing? See, I don't know what it's doing. Key press, title matches. So we get them. Oh, so title to add. Uh, or... See, I don't know what it is. So we've got our objects. Title matches live. Oh, for yeah, title to add. Well, title to add index. Title add index equals zero. I'm not sure what the syntax is for spacing, but that makes it easier for me to see. Let's see if I get them all. That and that. All right, let's see if that still works. Oh, we got to find the search box first. Oh, wait, wait, we're still not. Oh, yeah, 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 we're still broken. I forgot about that. Pages. So why? Let me try this. I'm going to comment this out for a second and see if this just works down here. OK, so that's up there. OK, it works there. Does it have to be below it? Doesn't seem like it should have to. If anything, it seems like it should be above it. Search objects. Why don't that work? Because div, search div, is this. It's putting all the good stuff in there. All right, let's figure out what's going on here. All right, there it is. It's not working. Uh, all right, so inspect element, see what's going on here. There's the result. Shadow content, user agent, div content, playable, okay. Shadow content, dun dun dun. So that's the result. Uh, why? I don't understand what's going on. Uh, so it works here, like we're calling it straight. And then It gets put in. Oh, 
don't talk sea levels to me. See, this is... Here's where I get even more nervous. I live in Florida. The highest point in Florida is about, I think, 300 feet above sea level. That's the high point. <laughs> um, I don't want to look at that. I'm going to look at it anyways. Uh, it's probably this one. Nope. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. That That's the number that's in my head. Um, oh, is this... Global sea levels. Yeah, that's bad. There's, if you look for them, there's actually some uh, Google map examples that people have overlaid. Like here's a one foot sea level rise. Here's a two foot sea level rise. And so they, they take a Google map and then start coloring in blue of all the parts that would get underwater. Um, and it's scary. So Miami, Florida, uh, height, height above sea level. Yeah. Miami's elevation, six feet, five and a half inches. Oh, those are centimeters? Okay, so I'm not I'm not as scared. But like here's the trick. It doesn't when you're looking at six feet, so I'm I'm higher up. I'm in northeast Georgia. Or northeast Florida, whatever. Um But Miami is highest point is six feet or six and a half feet. All of a sudden centimeters are a lot closer. <laughs> um and I, I'm fairly certain some parts of uh Miami might actually be below sea level. They've got it all like damned up or whatever. I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, but like New Orleans, same way. Like parts of New Orleans in the States are below sea level. It, they've just got dikes and dams and everything up. Um, which is why we had such a problem when those broke. Yeah, high ground is becoming a hot property as sea levels rise from 2017. I still don't understand why this isn't working. Because what if we just move the script below it? Which should not make a difference. I don't think. All right, see if we can get to come back. Three, two, one, go. Uh-oh. First thing, though, <laughs> this is what's left of Florida. You lost me on that one just a little bit. But if sea levels go up a few feet, lots of Florida goes underwater. Um, oh, I just refreshed chat. I didn't mean to do that. Hey, it came back. Everybody's a different color. I don't understand what's going on now. Because that shouldn't have made it go. Oh, there it is. It just was random. Okay, it's got to be below. Interesting. Whatever. I'll take it. Oh, oh, oh. The first link. I see what you're saying. Uh, might have lost it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, 2017, it got really big in the news. This might actually be the one that I was talking about. Except cookies. Oh god. Everything stop. Yeah, there you go. Go away. Elevation less than five meters, elevation less than ten meters. 
so this is like I'm, i think these are like way longer terms but like yeah south florida in trouble with any significant sea rise um and you know again i i don't think people think that's going to happen instantly and i think they think a lot of things are going to get us before uh sea level rise but um that like all the situation is just not in a good place um but yeah also i live slightly higher so hopefully i will last longer i don't know like it's that's just such a weird oh, thing and like i don't know what to do about it like right other than recycle um here ffmpeg okay cool so this works randomly okay that's kind of fun so i think i should keep it i should probably keep it there 100 percent of the time i want to have it there 100 percent of the time because it's not like people are gonna get to it all the time so let's keep it there that was a fun experiment but that experiment has proven that i like it better this way But so zero, no, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I called it right. Okay. I think some people are being weird everywhere, unfortunately, when it comes to the climate stuff. Um, that, again, I just, I, I trust that the people taking the measurements are taking the measurements accurately. And when you look at the trend lines based off the measurements, followed also by all the people who know about the stuff saying problems, I don't I I don't understand how to I don't understand how you don't understand that. Or whatever. I I don't Yeah. It's just like I don't know that I don't have a good position on that. Right. Like it's just, it's, it's fraught all the way around. Um, but it's clearly like problematic to say the least. Like, I don't know. I struggle with that one a lot. Um, like and how, it feels like we went wrong somewhere with the, like, the fact that that's such a contentious thing seems like we went wrong somewhere. And so my question now is how do we make that better in the future? Um, and I'm not talking about, like, the climate change itself. Yes, that, but also, like, the way that people think about things. Like, I don't, I don't think, one of the things that I'm thinking a lot about is, like, education. And I don't... I think we've got a lot of room for improvement in education. Um, and I don't want to knock what it is now because it's kind of incredible that we've got a bunch of the stuff that we have now, but like, what else can we do? Um, the first thing I'm going to do though is put this. So search elements. So what I need to do is actually make how am I going to do that? Uh, break. What if we just do a dash? Is that going to help? Whoops. Test. Okay, that's not too bad in terms of the look. I was going to see if I needed to do a UI on it, but that's fine. Well, hello. How goes it? Welcome back to the digital whatever. <laughs> uh, 
I think I think that's definitely gonna be it. Like I need to come up with a name for the thing, so that's the name for the thing. D welcome to the digital whatever. That's that's gonna be it. That's one hundred percent gonna be it. Um, anybody want the ATF's phone number? Yep. There you go. Um, oh, closed it. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Oh, it's got its own language. Ooh, that's, I mean, not ooh in terms of whatever. It was like, oh, come on. Another thing to learn before I do the thing that I want to do. Um, is there open CV? Can you just install? You probably already looked at this, but I, this is me just wondering with Tesseract. Okay. That's where you got to. Okay. I was just wondering if there was another thing, but that is it. Okay. Gotcha. Um, have to do this pip installation. Okay, gotcha. So here's the question. Do you have to do it locally? What are your parameters for doing this? Does it just have to be done on a computer? Because depending on what your parameters are, you might be able to also set up and use Amazon's text extract. Extract, yeah, easily extract printed text, handwriting, and data from any visualization document. That may very much fly in the face. Well, this is technically on a computer, and like, <laughs> you. It's probably, it's probably an immediate fail is what it is, but like, um, it, well, it depends on how, how cool your professor is. If you're like, Hey, I did the thing. Or unless it's, unless the thing is like, you explicitly have to use Tesseract, in which case then it's a non-starter, but like, uh, the, I know the Amazon services do some, some neat stuff. Oh, I gotcha. Right, right, right. I, so it's so weird. I, like, I don't think about the impact on schools because I'm not in school anymore. And like, uh, but I've got a professor friend. So I think about it some because I got a professor friend and he's been talking about it a bunch in terms of like, you know, freshmen coming in for their first year of college and they're locked in the dorm all the time. And it's just, it kind of blows my brain. So, um, cause I, my freshman year, I was not in the dorm very much. Um, so are you, what's, what level are you? I, if you don't mind my asking or whatever, um, it's always weird to ask like semi-personal questions on stream. Like, yeah, freshman. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, I think I'm a seventh year senior right now. Um, because, you know, things. Sunset. Is that going to work? Yep. Look at this. I'm super, I'm excited about this. So let me do. Uh, last year, Master's in Mechanical Engineering. Wow. Slick. My grandfather was was it a mechanical engineer i should know this i want to say he was a mechanical engineer but like neither one of my parents has like you know analytic techie brain so i 100 percent got it from him um and he was my favorite grandfather uh I mean, I only had the two, and the other one was also pretty cool, but like, pop one. Uh, yeah, I've always, I've always been fascinated by, like, I really like gears. 
I think gears are pretty amazing. I don't know. That's probably like 101 level stuff for you, but like, uh, or maybe even like 001. But like, I'm I'm fascinated by the the mechanics of things. Uh, if one of those, like the other one that gets me a lot is those um, assembly line videos where they just like show you the the machines that things go through and just like the the precision of like, you know, whatever. We're gonna make an Oreo cookie. And here's the stamp process that like does the the first thing and like here's the mechanism that like lays in the cream and then cuts it and like that like that stuff is just awesome. If you see gear now you run. <laughs> so did you like Metal Gear Solid or Metal Gear, the series? Or was that just like make you twitch? Because it was like just the name gear freaks you out. Um Where do I need to put this? So here's Here's the thing. So where is, where did our where did our thing go? Here it is. Okay. Div shadow three blah 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 all this. So oh, actually don't know what the format of this needs to be. Uh, survey says cocaine. Oh, I wonder what that is. Oh, I think this is about. The, oh, see, it's gone. <laughs> oh wait, but I got to search now. How do you spell cocaine? There it is. I think this is about the song. Yeah, one of the first songs I ever remember, like, really super getting into that was supposed to not be that way was Cocaine. They showed it to us as, like, an anti-drug thing. They're like, they're talking about drugs and music, and they played Cocaine. I was like, this song's awesome. I want to do Cocaine. Didn't really, the second part wasn't a thing, but... Um, But it certainly didn't turn me off from cocaine, I guess would be the point. Uh, ooh, yep, jumped again. Uh, I need to do this, inspect an element, because we need to see H3 font, class font bold. Cream, sunshine of your love. abs of f and lutely. I haven't, you know what? So you all are listening to different music than me because, you know, copyright. Um, so I'm sorry that my song is about to be way better than yours, but that is a great pull. Uh, it's hard to type over here. I haven't heard that song in a minute. Oh. Mm. One of the things I'm working on is uh, a way to synchronize YouTube playlists so that I can listen to music and then you could be following a web page and whatever I do on my web page listening to music would happen over there too if you want to listen along. Uh, this would be a perfect time for that. It's a, it's a solid song. Gaffa, if it's not, do you do you know it at all? Or is it just one the one you're thinking of? And there's a few songs that sound a lot like it. Um, the, is it a Hendrix song? It's basically that same, da, 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 like, I think there's a Hendrix song that does that too. Or it's very close to it. I already forgot what it was. H3 font bold. Uh, here we go. H3 class font bold. Search. All right, what we got, what we got, what we got. Show me a search, show me a shirt, show me, that's our, oh, look at that. Hello. So the, one of the other crazy things about this that is much more a reaction for me than for anybody else is there's about a thousand posts on this site that go back to 2005. I haven't seen most of them in 
Like if I wrote one in 2017, I haven't really seen it since then. 2010, you know, haven't seen it since then. So like all of these things that keeps coming up, I'm just like, oh, holy crap, I remember that. It's kind of fun. Little little trip down nostalgia. Yeah, right. The the other one that's fun for me is uh was it all along the watchtower, which everybody thinks was Jimi Hendrix original, but it was I think Dylan did it originally. Um but he's like his is like the definitive version. Um though the Dave Matthews one is also pretty solid. All right, question becomes, so I've got this, I've got this rolling in. I think I just answered it for myself. So I'm putting it in between this slot and this slot. I was wondering if I should just keep it in this top level, but I think I do like it doing crossing two, two things. Oh, this is funny. That's actually supposed to be a HTML strike, but the, it protected it. There's the Black Widow that was in my garage. Or Round Widow, but still. Not cool. Um, I'm digging this. I'm so digging this. Oh, oh, oh. So, okay, so let's commit this. Get add dot whatever. Get commit m Uh, make search box on home page random. Okay, cool. So we're gonna do that, and let me do. I want to do two. Well, I want to do. I want to do many things. Uh oh, you know what I should do. Welcome to the digital whatever. I love that. I love that. And I'm got to find. Oh, I hope I didn't lose it. Ah, what the hell's going on? Don't click. Stop. Oh, that's the end of it. <sighs> Gaffa, was it you that threw that term out there? I think it was. The dub, if it was you, I'm sorry. Which one of you which one of you threw that out? Yeah, it was you. Okay, I thought I thought it was. Credit where it's due. Oh, hang on. We definitely got to capitalize the. This is a full, a full proper thing. <laughs> That's really fun. <laughs> oh, I've I've got a name for the thing. That's awesome. And it's a name that is super because like sometimes people have the names and it's like okay, cool. I see it. You got it. It makes perfect sense. But sometimes it's a little bit like cringe. This to me feels like, okay, it's the digital whatever. Come on in. I love it. I absolutely love it. Cheers. I don't know. Can I give you like a gift or anything? How's this stuff work? I don't know how to, I don't know how to Twitch. Do I have like magic that I can do for you? I don't think I do. I've seen people do like shout outs and like whatever, but I think that may be like bot related. All right, if you figure it out, I'll let you let me know. If I figure it out, I'll let you know. Um. Okay, cool. So yeah, so let's put, let's put, 
I'm going to be very distracted by the music now. Um, so let's throw this. I can close this. I can close that. Search title's cool. That's working. Search link's cool. We got that. Here's the single page. Here's the head. That's working. We got this. Okay, so now we're down to what we're actually working on. So here's the same thing. So hopefully, 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 if I grab this same piece of code, Oh, you know what I need to do? Uh, hang on, before I do that, let me actually, why is that doing that? Is it still alive? Okay, it's still alive, whatever. Uh, I wanted to play this real quick. Oh, I think it's gonna build every page. I think I just made a change. This will take a minute. Where I set up a tip donation page. It's prime, twelve dollars a month. Uh, yeah. And also, so it's funny. I'm not gonna do anything that lets me earn money off of this. Like, I want this in my head to just be, and like, I've got no problem with with doing that or whatever. But just like, I've had so many hobbies turn into like money things, and I. I'm in a position now where I don't need to do that here. So I'm not going to do that here. So this is like, I'm just going to like, this is just a thing I'm doing. I dig it. If you want to come on down, cool. If you don't, cool. But there's no, like, I don't want. And like, it's, and it's weird. Cause like people are like, ah, oh, I'd like to subscribe or whatever. Or like, you know, but like, nope, it's cool. We're good. Just hang out. We'll be in good, good shape. Right. And it, it also, I do have a little bit of that apprehension. Like if I started to go down that path that I would start doing stuff specifically trying to like, you know, basically please the audience to try and not, not like beg or not like whatever, but like, just like it would, it would affect the way that I do this. Like it can't not. And I, I don't want that influence. Um, I'd prefer not to have that influence. No, actually, I don't want that influence. So we're going to pass it. Uh, I don't really need to watch this. It'll go. I need to figure out what's going on here, because this my site should not be 350 mags. Um, I, I There's a bunch of images that gets processed, but that's not actually what's being pushed right now. So I need to go dig into that and figure out what's going on there. But that's a different thing. Yeah, and, I, and so this it, this deployer only deploys files that have changed, but it's a static site. So when I just touched that other file and like made one new line on it, all of the all of the content files change. So it's sending everything. Um, theoretically, if I do this again in like ten seconds after it's done, as long as I don't touch that file, it'll go like that fast. If I only touch the index page, because it'll only send the index page. Um, but there's not, I haven't found, well, so one, I just need a faster connection, really, is the key. Oh, also, this might affect the stream. So if I get all choppy and stuff, that's what's happening. Um, I, I really do want to get a faster connection. And, like, in my brain now, I'm like, well, I'm streaming a bunch, so that's rationale. Which, I mean, kind of is. Um, But let me get... So while that's going, actually, what I can do is because I want to push that up and I want to see what the performance of the home page is like, even though I'm on a fast connection. Um, but just to kind of get a sense of it. Uh, but while we're also doing that, the other thing that I was looking at is changing this a little bit. Whoops. It's a search div. That's fine for now. 
gray, 100. I want to see what happens if we just... Oh, well, that makes them disappear if the background page is the same color. See, I've been playing around a lot with the colors of this thing, and I'm not sure where I want to end up. I don't like that at all, as a matter of fact. But what if we just keep pushing it and see what happens? I think this will do the full page. There we go. I'm not angry at that. See, I'm trying to like highlight the main article a little bit. I don't think, whoops. See that gray is not quite enough, but I don't want to like knock it down any further, but maybe what I can do, this has a shadow. What if I take the shadow off of the rest of these things? Can't tell the difference. All right, now we're gonna play around with it a little bit. Um, what if we do shadow, sure, whatever. But what if we make this black? And we make the text. I think this works. I'm using a thing called, the style sheet framework thing called Tailwind. And so all these things are just generated by it automatically. That wasn't right. Font color. Nope. Okay, we're going to go to Tailwind. Uh, documentation. We have to turn the lights in a minute. Get a little dark in here. I don't mind the dark in here, but like it'll start messing with the camera. I am looking for something that sounds like the word text color. Oh, that's what I did. Okay. Oh, see, I kind of like this. Other than that, feels like those those like. All right, let's fix the search box first, and then get a better look at it. Which should just be. I really do like this framework in terms of like it just it's all these little comp just component classes that you put in. And like, I don't have to know what I'm doing because I don't. Where did my search div go? Maybe I should keep the search or make the search a slightly different color. Yeah, what if we make it like blue or something? Oh yeah, I should do. All right, so you got me, y'all got me in a uh, classics mood. So it's Led Zeppelin time.
ramble on. Here we go. Oh, so good. So good. Colors. How do we do background colors? Background color. Where are blues? Let's find... I'm not super jazzed about all those colors. But this bl blue indigo. Indigo, that's a good name. Search div background indigo 800. Indigo 800, also the name of my new band. Oh, nope, too bright. funny it's like the paint swab paint swatches thing like you look at it and it's like that looks great and then you like put it on a wall and you're like nope does not I'm not angry at it Uh, I don't know if green's gonna do it, but we're gonna we're in experimental mood. Oh, I could randomize it. <laughs> oh, I may do that. Oh, okay, not that. Oh, I could randomize. Okay. Oh, it actually all went. So let me see. Like I want a fast connection, so or fast-ish connection. That didn't take an awful long time to load. Um, file. I mean, it should compress really well, but it's still just ridiculous size. Uh, are we going to our desktop or is it desktop? Size, check. Two, whatever. This is funny. I think I already like the black color better. Uh, how big is this file? Get info. 4.7 megs. I think that's actually about the size of most home pages these days. Web average home page size. No, it's around one and a half meg. Okay, never mind. giant and ridiculous but like that's it's unoptimized it's a thing like this is just a progress thing here's why it matters uh let's go back to look list <laughs> see what i want to have happen like, these being white didn't bother me as much. Or When they were white, they didn't bother me as much in terms of how big they were. But now the black is just has so much more weight to it. I wouldn't mind it if it was like these. I just don't know how to do that yet. Um, I may do that in a minute. Um, I have no idea how long I'm going to stream, by the way. I'm just kind of here. What does it look like on... Oh, I didn't change the those yet. Watch your head. Oh, I'd have to deal with that. See, I really don't like these. But it's okay, this is progress. Um... Immigrant song, kicking in. So we're gonna do that. And up here. Let's 
So we're gonna give this to the top one. And then, oh, actually, does that just do it? That's not the right thing. Close that. So we click and go to one. Where's the background color? So let's get this out of there and see what happens there. Hmm. I'm not sure about it. This is the first one. So this would also go black. Uh oh, that was not the right thing to do. Oh, this is, sorry, whoops. Background white, background black. There you go. It's, it's too much, but like... Oh, you know what I wonder is if... So there's ways to round the corners. What if we rounded that upper corner? Just this one. Just that. What does that do? Oh, come on. Border, 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 border radius. So we want to do border radius top right is what we're looking for. TR, whatever, we'll do TRLG. Top right. I, lo I love the naming conventions on this thing. Like it's once you kind of get them, they're pretty easy. Also top left. XL. Where is our background color? What if we make that 800? Ooh, okay, that's getting interesting. Just look at nine, just to see what it looks like. I don't know. This is cleaner. I like this better. I like a little bit more separation there. That's cool. I like this. This is good. Yeah, okay, I like this. Should probably add, oh, there's a little padding there. It's fine. There's not a good way. I guess I could knock that down to two columns when it's coming in. So when you go from four and uh, See, that's too wide. And like, it's about two in there anyways, when you 
do that kind of crop on it. There's either fireworks or gunshots happening outside right now. Guessing fireworks, but still. All right, I also want to play, so if that's at 800, what happens if we make these, and so now I'm just going to, whatever, this is just messing around, right? Um, where is, so, gray, 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 900. Nah. I don't think that's gonna do it. I think it needs to be black, but like, so I should write a little program just to generate a whole bunch of these so I can just look at them. I'm not angry at that either. Um, Oh, I guess I could reverse those. That's not awful, actually. I need to change out the green to something else. And also, I think I want to drop down the font color. To 200. How about that? Let's see what that does. I think it changed, but it's tough to tell 400. Yeah, okay, so that change changed three. Let's see what three looks like. That's not awful. This looks very much like a site that I would have built in 2001 or 1998. And I'm 100% okay with that. Like I am not a designer. I want to change that. Well, let me look at what happens if you make this all black. Also, I don't know why the extensions are up there. What's going on there? It's scary. Go away. Hmm. Gray, 800. Seven hundred. Let's just look at it. I don't think I like this as much. Yeah, no, we're going back. That's pretty good. Now are those bottom ones, they're not black, right? Yeah, they're 900, okay. So they're not full black. Let's just look at 800. Nope, gotta be nine. And then just to make sure black is not what we want. Too strong. 900 wins. I should do is since this is like changing every day, uh, 
Whoops, not what I meant. Roll Tide, everybody. That's one of a screenshot of that. Because, you know, history or whatever. Okay, and so we've got that. Let me add that same text gray 300 up to our loader here. Text gray 300. Sweet. Now, do I want to do the curl over on... Here. Oops, right. Missed it. Oh, there it goes. Hmm. I'm not angry at it. And this is also fun too, because like, I'm so like, I'm just gonna like, none of this stuff is permanent. So like, it's all good. Just do whatever. Oh yeah, see this isn't bad. Ooh, actually I really kind of like this. See, I really like the thing that's only at the top, but we'll play with it and actually just call it rounded in general. I think you just do rounded XL. I do like that this stuff is knowable. So that's gonna do both of them. Okay, that's better. That is better. Yep, better. I'm st I'm not super jazzed. Like I I really need somebody who knows colors to like give me colors. That is not a thing that I've got. I do want to lighten those up though now a little bit. That's a little too dark. So we're going to go 200, I think it's lighter, right? Couldn't tell. So probably. One hundred. I think I'm going to drop the green. Oh, I got to figure out how to drop the green because I want to keep it in. I want to keep some type of underline for. The main page, but I don't want them under here for these. Because that's a little much. Tailwind huge. Yeah, this is the 4 meg CSS. Yeah, so I've got a 4 meg homepage file and a 4 meg CSS file. That's angry. Oh wait, you couldn't see all that. I don't know what it's doing. being angry we're just gonna open a new window 
There we go. Uh, didn't update yet. Also, why does that not look like it's commented? I think it's processing that file is what's going on. Black dog. It is definitely not happy with me right now. Rebuild failed. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, there it goes. That totally freaked it out. Okay, right as it... As always happens, right as you like mess with it, it like decides to be okay. Yeah, see, uh, yeah, I don't want him there at all, but I need to, so I need to come up with. One thousand two hundred and two pages, apparently, is the number of pages. No paginators. Non-page files, two hundred seventy. Processed images. See, twelve hundred and forty. I got to figure out what's going on there. I mean, I've got a bunch of images on the site, but like, I need to figure out how to like deal with them a little bit better. I got some ideas. Maybe. No, I have some ideas. Oh, excuse me. I think I can offload that. Yeah, so I want to get rid of the underlines, but I want to keep them for the main content. main content so a no you do dot main content a right oh yeah yeah, yeah that's what I want because I only want it for the main content thing so that should take it off from the other places and add it to there I hope We'll see how long that takes to do the rebuild. Yeah, see, getting blue again. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the dates. I think, cause like, I do kind of like the fact that there is no date on it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. That's better. You know what I could do too, like.
I'll, I'll have to play around with the design because right now I've got whatever four columns. And what I could do is I could make it eight and I could bring this in one and then do something over here. Like in just a, not like text wise, but like I'm thinking of like images or something. Um, Oh yeah, the Camry. So yeah, I got a, I got a bunch of broken images too. I gotta go solve all those at some point. Yeah. Okay, I'm kind of digging this. I'm still not totally sold. Is there a shadow under there? Can I add a little more shadow? Is that going to make it better or worse? I can't tell a difference. No, oh, it's because it was the wrong thing. Shadow medium, shadow LG. Or let's do XL, just to see if we can see it go. I don't see it. Well, let's take it out and see if we can tell the difference there. I don't think it's doing anything. Or maybe you just can't tell as much on the... Oh yeah, just barely. I think it's actually muddying it a bit. Like just the teeniest, tiniest bit. What if we did borders? Border radius width. This is interesting now. This got interesting. Um, if we just do border, it's probably gonna be too small. I think I like the thicker border. I just wanted a different color. Again, this is where I need. I think I do. I do think I like the two. Let's see what the two looks like with color. Ooh, no! I got it. Go the other way. Nine hundred. Hmm.
this looks so old and cheesy and whatever like but i'll it's fine Okay, I'm not angry at that either. <laughs> Where's that background? I feel like... Let's do, for this one, we're gonna do the same thing. Border to border gray 400, I think. Yeah. And then for the text, with that border on it, we need to make it pop a little bit more. So we need to make it, I guess, just straight white. Well, what if we do one here? Well, we would just do that because that's what it is. Yeah, that's getting better. Border gray 900, where's border two, just cause it comes border. Oh, no, it's background, okay. And then what if we add border border black here. <laughs> that do it? Yeah, just barely. Okay, so do border two. can't really see it. I don't know if red's a thing. No, it's not. This looks exactly like a site that I built like in Take off the shadow. Does that have a shadow? Yeah, let's get that out of there and see if that makes it stand out a little bit more. Nope, not really. That's fine.
All right, so let's apply those here. Oh yeah, I don't like this at all now. Background 700, that's cool. And then... Rounded XL. So I should flip those, cool. And then down here... We're gonna take away the shadows. Rounded XL. Take away the shadows. Rounded XL. Background is gray. One hundred? Nope. Nine hundred? I think that's it. That certainly looks like it. I love the search moves. See, I almost feel like I should make this one three wide to start with. I should, I'm gonna do that in a minute. Hey, that un welcome to what I'm now calling the digital whatever. <laughs> Cause I don't have a better name for it and you know, whatever. It's cool. Welcome to the digital whatever. I'm, no, I gotta own it. Like, if I'm gonna do it right, I gotta own it. Um, I'm just playing around with my site uh, in this kind of digital garden mindset and just messing around with it right now. Uh, I just put a search. So everything on my site is all the links move randomly. Um, they refresh randomly, and they are the the links that are there are random, and the random and they are in random positions. Um, I just added a search bar that is also I'm keeping it on the page now, but it's moving around randomly too. Uh, and so now I'm just trying to like play around with the style sheets a little bit and see what the, uh, what it's going to look like. <laughs> nice, whatever or whatever. Yep. I just like, everybody has like a name for their stream and for their thing. And I don't, but I said, Hey, it's the whatever at some point. And, uh, somebody else who was on chat, he might still be gaffa. Uh, I was like, ah, the digital whatever. And I was like, you know what? That sounds perfect. This is now the digital whatever. I really, increasingly, I like the ring of that. Uh, hey, he is still there. Or they are still there. I don't know if it's a he or she or a they or a... So they are still there. Uh, trying not to make assumptions. Uh... All right, so we pulled that in. Now I need to do... So we need to add the border. Oops, that's harder to deal with than I thought. Um, and it's just border and then border gray 900, maybe? Oh, see, memory is not my thing. Just so careful listening to my stream. Uh, I hearing your own voice. I like. I. I don't. I'm not. I'm okay with it now, just because I've done it enough. But like, yeah. I I think anything is pretty much okay. But then there's those people who are like, well, hello, my name is Radio Announcer Nine Thousand, and it's, and you're sitting there going like, that's good. But yeah. Oh, it's 
and the, the working title is still entitled, became the official title. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, okay, so I don't feel so bad. The digital whatever. Naming things is hard. Let's check a, a subordered black. Oh, so I need to do that around the main content. Not that you can really see it. Oh yeah, onion. So this, I'm doing like this digital garden approach to this thing. So like, I just did this. I just converted the blog two days ago, and so it's all over the place, and it's super hacky. And like, so don't be surprised if you're looking at that and you're like, "What are you doing?" We're just ex doing little experiments, is what we're doing. Background white. So here's our border. Which again, we won't be able to see on this one really. Ah, eh, maybe just a little bit. Super hacky, where it's at. Yep. Okay, that got that too. Ooh, I like the border around the green. That looks slick. You just, I can't really see it on my monitor in the white. It just bleeds back in, which is, it's fine. It's like just barely there, just a hint. Um, And so then we need to find. here somewhere rounded background gray border border gray here's here we go so somewhere down here is the magic cool oh we need to add it to the sir no we don't we already got that okay that's cool here's where we need to add it Background gray, background thing with Bob. There we go. Hey, we got it. I think that's the same schema or schema. The same look and feel. That's the same as that, right? Why is the background? Is the background color the same? Okay, yeah, everything's the same, I think. Right on. Have a nice nap. Thank, thank you for. Well, hopefully, it's not one of those things where you leave like me talking in your ear and you have like super weird dreams about like HTML and JavaScript and digital gardens. I don't know. Digital gardens in a dream might be an interesting thing. We'll we'll talk to you next time if you pass out. Um, or when, if you took a sleeping pill, like that's kind of inevitable, right? Uh, oh, I really kind of like this hanging out here. This is turning out better than I thought. <laughs> Dreams about JavaScript. <laughs> How about Python? I can talk in Python. But then there'd be snakes in your dream and like that's not good for anybody. So forget I said the P word. Um... Oh yeah, let's see. I should see if this works. Does this work? Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Oh, the text is wrong though. Can't really see that, can you? Um, bum, bum, bum. how do we fix that? In the giant hundred and eighty thousand line CSS file is how we fix that. Input border. color six of those I think you can shorthand that but whatever and this is going to take it a minute because it has to it tries to compile that file it's straight CSS but it tries to compile that file as SCSS and it uh it sometimes takes a minute oh nope still still working assuming I got it right oh did I do that right input yeah because I was on the border so that should be it should be the same thing it is color, right? For fonts? Yeah, yeah, because we're doing this. Yeah, it's still processing. Please hold. I may back the brightness down on these just a little bit. Like a like one more. I 
can't tell that that changed. Oh, I don't think I changed the right file. Did I change the right file? Is that the home page? Nope. That's why it didn't change. Uh, I am losing my ability to concentrate. It's awesome. Sleeping pill got to me too, apparently. It's a very magical sleeping pill. Where the hell? Oh, here we go. Text gray 50. Let's try 200. Yeah, see, I think that's a little less punchy. can't figure out hmm like it's this the spacing stuff gets me a little bit so should I hmm I wonder oh that's my first post I wonder if I should limit it even a little bit more I feel like this is too wide Hey, appreciate it. Thank you so much for stopping by and for the follow and for the name. Uh, the, I don't know, there's like a term for people. Oh, you coined, yeah, so you coined the term. I appreciate it. Thank you for coining the name of the stream. Uh, that's awesome. I uh, hope to see you again sometime soon. I stream most nights or most, most nice to Eastern time. Um, we'll not be doing that tonight though, but you're going to be probably asleep at that point. So have a good one. Take it easy. Thanks again for stopping by. Later. Um, I do kind of like this. Like it really. Oh, so if, but if we move it in, no, I don't want to do that. But what if that? Wait, hang on. I'm. I may be in. Okay, hang on. I need to check something. So I keep font, I keep the size of the browser enlarged a little bit to make it easier to see on um, smaller screens. But it throws me off when I'm trying to do like spatial stuff, right? Because it's percentaged up. But I still think this is a little bit too large now. I think I want it in like that much. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. All right, we'll figure that out in a minute, I think. So let me do this. Uh, updated styles. I keep forgetting, I on purpose don't have a link to the homepage because have this idea of like once you go in you should just be want running around or whatever but then I try and get back to the home page and it's not there um but like that's it's an experiment we'll see what happens also a bunch of broken images yeah i feel like i want to back that in just a little bit but first let me get the search on these pages because people will spend very little time on the home page if any so I think this so that's the index page so this is the search block I'm using a client side um, script called match shorter uh, that somebody who I know from a Discord showed me on stream last night. That's pretty awesome. We hacked through it a little bit and got going. Uh, it's a it's like a node module and designed for like compiling and stuff, which Hugo, which I use, doesn't do any of that. Um, 
so we had to like hack through it a little bit uh and he he showed me some magic to help with that whoops oh crap <sighs> this has to be different because it's on it's not on the home page and the way that you get to it is this way i think range this Let's see if that works there you go that took me an hour to find the first time and so i think i can just copy this as well so here's where we build the search box which i'm just going to put that right above here And then we're going to get a random number. For the search box, so I want it because I want it to jump around and like be in different places. Which is like not designy at all, but like. Hopefully. But again, my, my goal is not to be an ass with this stuff. I hope it's like. Amusing. My goal is amusement for everybody. And like, just kind of like a little bit, like, I don't know. Yeah, so it's weird. I, I, I don't know. Like, that may not come across well. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm putting this in here. So, if we hit the random number. Four and one page length. What am I doing with that? Oh, that's calling the thing. Okay, so this should work. Maybe. There's a search box. Okay, we need to back it off one, though. This is the plight of it to get down there. Because this is index zero. No. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one more. Seven. And we can actually go zero to seven. We can let it be in the first slot. Virus? What is this? This is funny because I, I took the dates off the post too. It's an interesting just little thing. I think what I'm going to do with the dates is put them on there, but have it be... Oh, I should turn the lights on. It's getting dark. Oh, yeah, it's getting all creepy um i like i really like the look without the dates and like these just like little almost like flash cardy type things especially ones that are only a paragraph long maybe i can put the date like down here or something hmm I don't know. I'll play around with that too. But we got the search going too. So let me see if it works. Sunset. Sweet. Oh, this is actually interesting. So what I can do. Yeah, this isn't bad at all. I can actually use a color call out for other things. And I'm sure eventually I'll have them be static or whatever. Um, and eventually I'm sure it'll format and they'll be like up here in this row or whatever. Um, but for now, we're just gonna let them jump around a little bit. But no, what I could do, yeah, so I don't have a page that's like, uh, so everything is just the individual post pages. There's no, like list pages, there's no whatever. It's just like post, 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 or page, 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 page. Um, but like at some point, what I want to do too is like have like recent favorites or whatever, or some like some type of list pages or whatever. 
Um, well, the one page that is going to be at least, least is secret. So, like, eventually this will actually be a thing. Um, and then, yeah, I could make some more. Okay, this is cool. I like this. This is pretty good. Um, all right, I'll be right back. Uh, I'm going to turn on some lights, grab a drink, make a pit stop, and then I'll be back for, I don't know, a while longer. I, I'm just going for a while. Be right back. I should adjust the color. Yeah, it needs to be a little... Well, again, hang on. First of all... Goodbye. Okay, that's at 100%. Yeah, it needs to be 15% less wide. Might as well do this. Hey, Bob Ross. 
Good, how are you? Happy Saturday. I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. Because I always hope everybody has a wonderful Saturday. And a wonderful Monday, you know, all the wonderful days. Especially Mondays. Mondays are definitely need to be more wonderful. Oh, what's up with your arm? Uh, also, why is that not loading? Oh, there we go. Should, should I even make it different? Or should every page on the site just be the page on the site the same way to start with? Eek. Ouch. What did you do? Or did it just <laughs> lift something? I guess I would be technically doing something too, but. Oh, Stereo Heaven's on right now. Oh. Uh, tell you, that soccer, man. Dangerous. I know. But I mean, don't get me wrong, whatever. But like, buddy who um, completely ripped up his ACL, another buddy who completely broke his arm. Like, it doesn't look like it would be that deadly, but wow, is it? Um, dude, I hope so. I hope you're heal up. I hope it's not actually like. I hope it, is it like hospital stuff, or is it just like you're just gonna kind of power through it for a little while? And by the way, no judgment on my part either way. Like, I'm a wuss. Oh, what I was gonna do? I was gonna let's just do deploy right now, cause why not? All right, so things to do. Are there different? Hey, more fireworks. What's going on this week? What's? I don't know why there's fireworks right now. I mean, it's Florida, so it could just be there's fireworks. Give me one second. Oh, right on. Yeah, give it a day or two and just see if you can, if it's doing an okay thing. These look smaller, not bigger. Yeah, this one does not want to stay in my ear. Duct tape it. Or really, gaff tape it. I would go with gaff tape. Oh, small, large. Stay here is what they're called. Oh, so these are probably mediums. Maybe those are bigger? Ah, whatever. Do that later. Good news is, well, I'm going to jinx it right now, but the good news is they're not that shorting out right now. Oh, yeah, I was wearing a couple of, I bought a pair, I bought a replacement set of headphones. They were three for $9. And like every now and then they, you'd hear like this little like crackle in them or whatever. But then it actually shocked my ear. Like, not awful, right? It's, it's only like, I don't know how much voltage or amperage or whatever goes through the wires, but it can't be that much. But I felt it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I heard it like, uh, you know when you like hear an electronic thing go zzz, 
I heard that over here, but I felt it right there because it's got a metal thing on it. And like, it it's actually on stream. You can see me jump. You don't get sound like for me? No, you have to be able to hear me because you're, or you're really good at lip reading. I'm not sure what you mean you don't get sound. That's, oh, look at this, four gig. Oh, you don't understand it. Okay, don't get it. I got you. All right. Well, there's these air molecules. And when the air molecules vibrate, the little hairs on your... No, I'm sorry. Oh, how does it go through electronics? That's actually worth, like, looking up some YouTube videos on. It's kind of cool. Uh, not kind of cool. It's pretty... It's a, It's amazing that it works. Um... like digital analog conversion and like all this it's it's really it's it's worth it yeah uh look up a couple of, I, I would recommend looking up a few vid youtube videos on that i'm sure they're good ones out there um because the uh the one that gets me a little bit is uh originally how cds but now how digital music works with like all these little bitty samples and the thing that always got me right is if you look at um Sound waves, sound wave, well, just sound wave, right? Um, music. Oh, the transformer. I remember him. Images. So like this, it blows me away that like that translates into music. Like, I can look at it and look and like if somebody hits a drum and like you see a spike and you're like, okay, boom, boom, boom. But it really feels to me like the instruments, like there's only, there's only one plane of it. There's only one plane of the sound. It's not like all the instruments make their own planes and they all have their own things. It's like, it's all just mushed together. It like breaks my brain every time I think about it. Um, Cause like this is, you know, Bad Liar by a Selena Gomez. Who knows? Um, but it's super neat. Longitudinal waves. Didn't know that was the thing. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I wouldn't mind like having a cool thing like that just as a to hang on the wall. That's pretty slick. I don't need it for eighty dollars though. Oh, I just looked. These are all art pieces. I was just looking at the things. I don't need the acrylic one. This one looks the best. It's probably just the lighting, but still. That looks very angry. That's what that looks like. Okay, let's see. So where is the width of this thing? Because I think what I want to do, grid template columns, responsive customizing. Where do we set the width of the page container? Container sets max width auto. Adding responsive variants. How do I make it less? Container class sets max width of an element to match min width of the current breakpoint. I've read that sentence 50 times and I still can't get, I need to like draw it out. Fix the screen size of the set of the viewpoint. Okay. Responsive variants, customization, horizontal padding. So this is all the customization stuff. That's not what I'm doing. Breakpoints. So that sets the breakpoints. I don't know if I have to override this somehow. To add horizontal padding. 
horizontal padding because I could just add a tremendous amount of padding to it and do it that way. Box sizing display. No, clear floats. No, 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 no. Flex direction. Still don't know what that is. Oh, um, so I've been messing around. Uh, I completely redid my website a couple nights ago uh, with this idea of the digital garden, the kind of like, not really a blog, but just kind of like putting stuff up there a little bit more handcrafted and not worrying about just like a chronological list of stuff and just randomly throwing crap out there. So, um, actually, let me see if it's still, it may have just finished. Um, so a couple nights ago, it looked like this, which was just the first thing that I put out there. And so today I've been messing around and I, I'm playing with the styles and I added the search box today. Oh, well, I, I started adding it last night and I'm finishing it up today. Um, and I'm right now what I'm looking for is I want, this is, it's too wide for me. Um, because if you look at, like this is a good length for the paragraphs, but there's all this white space over there. And so what I want is, or what I'm working on right now, I wanna see if I can make it the top part about that wide when it's when the whole page is this wide and like so i want to i want to trim down from like here to like here hello how goes it joseph welcome to wait we came up with a name for the stream and i just forgot it ah the digital whatever that's what we're calling the stream welcome to the digital whatever I hope you're having a fantastic uh, Saturday. And if it's not fantastic, I hope it's at least pretty good. Uh, we're just playing around with my website right now a little bit. Uh, it goes well, excellent. Most excellent. Uh, just playing around with my website a little bit. Was just telling uh, Bob Ross, I don't know if he's, how the comments work, if you saw him or not, he's in here. Um, messing around with my website, trying to like mush it down a little bit. Wait. Uh, but I can't, I'm not finding how to do that at the moment, but that's okay. We can figure it out. I am having a very good day, actually. Thank you. Uh, it's uh, It's been a good time of late, and cheers to good times, right? Bob is having less of a good time. He's got a minor, we hope, uh, soccer injury. So we're, we're wishing him well, and hopefully he gets healed up by tomorrow. So good vibes. I try. I, I not to get all like you know, whatever, but like, yeah, I have a good day. Hope you're having a good day. We should all. I make an effort, right? So I don't know. I don't want to get like all uh, be positive because that gets kind of weird sometimes. But like, yeah, cool. Also, that just got weird, right? I just made it weird. Um. <laughs> uh. Yeah. So. Cool. Oh, hey, thanks for the holiday, or for the holiday. <laughs> thanks for the holiday. Uh, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, absolutely. And welcome fully to the digital whatever. Uh, we're, we're, we're building the, the whatevers uh, and having a good time doing it. Uh, see, I'm afraid, so this Tailwind CSS, oh, are you, uh, what's your tech-ness? Your tech level, your tech, what do you do? Are you a techie? Do you do tech stuff? Do you do dev stuff? Let's see, why? Position, no, probably not, nope. See, I feel like it's gotta be in container. Oh, well. We shall endeavor to show you some cool things then. Uh, this is a web page. 
Sorry. I'm a little punchy today, too, so it's a punchy day. Um, yeah, and so right now, I don't know how to switch this page. Let's try... Um, well, so what we could do... We could put a container in. Well, if I just do pat, so this is this is the padding. This is the side to side padding. So if I just do this at like oh, on the wrong page, let's go to the home page. If I come here and just go to here and make this a ten, what does that do? Well, I'm on the wrong page there too. Let's go to the home page. Do do do. Also, not the home page. There's the home page. Hey, all good. Absolutely. Have a good one. Take it easy. No need to apologize. Be safe. Be kind. Have a good one. Um, I don't know if that actually moved. So I got to do this for a second and we're going to see if we can see it go. I didn't see it change. Cheers. Uh, that's not changing. Oh wait, did that just move? No, the things just moved. Um, which why is that? That should oh 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 oh. Okay, hang on. What if we do class padding external or padding x dimension ten? Well, it moved it in, but it looks like crap. Let's not do that there then. Understood. PX is 20 a thing? What do we think? Nope, does not look like it. All right, tailwind. Padding, spacing, padding. Ooh, but padding 44 is. Aha, now we're good. That's better. So that's 44. Div class PX. 44. That didn't work. Why did that work? Come here. Oh, see, that's getting better. Is this, hang on, is this, okay, that's 100%. So I'm not, I'm not seeing weird percentage bumps. Actually, how's that look on? That's not actually awful font size, is it? I mean, it's going to be super tiny. On, actually, pardon me one second. Well, I just want to, I'm still trying to figure out sizing stuff. I just want to check and see what that looks like on a phone because I, I want to make sure stuff is readable even on smaller screens. So we're going to take a quick look, hopefully quick. Possibly quick. Possibly it's not playing. What's going on? All right, I'm just going to leave that sitting there and then I'll look at it as it moves. It's going to fall. Okay, whatever. There it is. It is definitely not playing though. Refresh A. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's not awful for screen text, but we, we definitely like it definitely needs to be bigger for easy reading there, right? That's pretty. It's about one and a half times. Yeah. Please, please hold. Please stand by. I just want to see this. Game. Yeah, the text is way better. OK, cool. That's what I thought. Just checking. I want to make sure we're providing the best uh, best experience possible here. Uh, 
pa, 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 pa. So let's push it in a little bit more. 48 was a thing. That's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna, we're gonna experiment and we're gonna push it farther than we think it would go. That's smaller than normal, right? Yes. All kinds of craziness going on there. What's the next one up? 52. Fifty-two. Oh, see. <laughs> see, I want, I want this column narrower. But this column needs to be that wide to deal with that. What if we just push it one more? What's one more? We're gonna just keep, so we're actually, we're gonna keep going until we go too far because this is one of those things where, so 56, 60, 64. Hmm, that's pretty tight. I mean, not... Yeah, that's probably too, that's probably too much right there, but we're gonna go... I'm gonna keep going a little bit, because I want to see what happens. Because the other trick is, like, if you're on a bigger... Actually, it's not awful on a bigger browser. Wait a minute, why did that just... Oh, because it's padding... Right, 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 right. It's not padded in when I go, when I have the monitor full. I was, when I'm there, it gets padded because it's padding against the sides and the sides of the monitor should be pushed out. Gah! Oh, wait, 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 but we might be able to solve that. Hang on, we can solve that. So we're in, because the container sets an outside size for us. I th okay, so here's a theory. I think this might actually move everything over to the left because I'm not centering this container. Is that what's going to happen? Nope. Oh, yeah, kind of. If I take that out, what happens? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. That's cool. So we're going to put the container at that level. We're going to put MX in here, MX Auto. So MX Auto is what does the centering. I don't know why the background went white, though. What happened there? That doesn't make any sense. So there's that. I don't understand. Oh, 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 yeah, I do. So the div originally is 100% of the width. Got it. Wait, so I, I want to leave that in. So that's going to stay white. But then when we put this in main, hopefully that gets filled up because I think main, there we go. Okay. So this is in a container, and now we want to center that container. And then get rid of these, I think.
because we're already inside that. Padding one, that's cool. MD, padding three, okay. Padding top one, sure. Round, so I don't think we need this because that's not visible. This is, there's lots of divs hanging out here. Okay, yeah, so that's still four wide. Okay, so we're in good shape here. And that's a little too tight, I think. So this, wait, hang on, let me just look at my size thing again. Sizing stuff is always just so fraught, like. Okay, that's 100%, which I'm gonna keep it there for now. So that's too tight. I'm gonna go one more tight though, just to look. Yeah. Though, so, wait a minute. Under construction. We're going to go old school with it. Oh, it broke the thing. Hmm. See that size? Okay. Issue there. Uh, how do we center stuff in Tailwind? Tech center, I'm guessing. Can't tell if that did anything or not. I'm playing around with under construction. Yeah, see, that's cool. So I think that's a little tight. So wait, did it just get wider? Hang on. It shouldn't have, because the container should be set. So there's how wide it is. If we move that. Yeah, it got... Oh, wait, so container here, hang on. I need to see what's going on. So border to border black, border red, B-R-D-R red. Border red apparently is not a thing. Oh, you gotta do a, a number with it, 500. Okay, so that's main which is all the way out there. That's cool. Container. Border to, I have to just do border one, it's fine, border. 
border color, whoops, border blue, 300, whatever. Okay, so when we shift in, that's a break point is what's happening. Okay, 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 okay. See, this is this is about what I'm looking for right here. And those breakpoints are probably set. Now, so this is one of those weird things where. So container, MX auto, border. I'm not giving it anything specifically. Max width screen XL. What if we do screen LG? And what if we move that up here? LG, max screen large. It just is a, there yeah. Okay, so it shouldn't ever get any bigger than that. And then there's its breakpoint. Oh, wait, 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 is that the solution? Is it just do that? Well, that's probably the solution right there. <laughs> that was easy. Because if that's if that max width screen thing isn't there, it does that, which is not what we want. Okay. Uh, that was easier than expected. Oh, it's super weird if you got the window open, it's a small thing like that. Like, I feel like this is kind of, and there's actually stats on this that you could go look up, but like the window, the viewport dimensions that everybody looks at their thing at. Cause like, you can't see the full browser right now, but like, it's the equivalent of No, it's not really equivalent. Like, because that's all, it's up super high. I guess, I don't know, whatever. It's just, it looks weird when it's, when the browser is full screen. A little bit. Because it's like the, that area is a little bit too high. Um. But I mean, probably everything looks like that, right? So like, whatever. Um. Oh, what's a website to go to? Uh, Wired.com. Oh, but see, they've all got headers. And all this stuff. See, so yeah, see, the content's pushed down to... Oh, and there's going to be a giant ad coming in there, too. Look at that. That's awful. Oh, my goodness. And then that... Yeah, That's, and I understand. Like, they have people they're trying to pay, and I'm all for that. Gotta, I hope we can figure out a way to. Uh, Security Roundup. US use the Patriot Act to justify logging website users. Yes, that is not a surprise at all. Um, oh, Tailwind. That would actually be a good thing to look at. All right, let's see what theirs does, right? Yeah, see, it's all stuff moves down a little bit. Um, that's for the home page. Let's go to like a documentation page. Yeah, see, there's all this like headery stuff, like this header bar, which I don't have, and I'm intentionally not doing. That's gonna be what it is for right now. I may. I may put something like graphical up there at some point. Um, 
Let's pat it a little bit more. I think that was the wrong thing to do. Oh, I was right. See, this is where... See, I think this is fine. Because it's all... Yeah, hopefully it's fine, because that's the same thing. Let me get a slightly bigger thing. Nope, not much. Obviously, I need to center it and do some other stuff there, but like... I'm trying, so this, again, like there's all this white space, and so, and you crunch it down. So there's, here's the, the smallest point. Yeah, there's padding up there. See now there's that's like a little bit too much padding if you're on that size screen. Make this too. I think that's what it is. See if that goes up a little bit. Yep, just like a touch. Oh, you can't really see all of that, can you? Sorry. Oh, the search landed right there. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I need to eventually do that. I should just do that. The funny thing is, like, there's all these, like, one of the reasons all these conventions exist is because they are useful and they're helpful. And, like, A, people know them. B, they kind of came around by progress. So by intentionally flaunting them a little bit, it's silly. Um, like that doesn't go anywhere you got to click down here or do something right yeah it's also weird that there's nothing yeah that also is another weird one there's nothing up here to click it's fun but like it's just it's a weird should I just stack the search up there when it's like that <clears throat> All right, so we need to fix that. This is this was a little fraught last time I messed with it, but we'll see what happens. Um Sorry. That was very resonant. Okay, so this is the first one. Whoops. Nope, wrong. There we go. And it hides there. Hidden XL. So really what we want is hidden LG. That should bring it back. Okay, that does. Also at hidden LG or LG, we still want the column size to be four. If it was that easy, that's going to be awesome. So there's that. And that's where we go to there. Oh, cool. It just stays. It stays there. It doesn't jump around. That's cool. So here is the next size down. <clears throat> so that small goes to two columns.
Cool. Right on. Yeah, question? Sure. I'll be here for a while. Small. Uh, an iPhone that's like three years old. Ten, maybe? Ten? I'm mostly sure it's a ten. Maybe it's only two years old? I can't remember. Oh, you made an Android app? <laughs> uh, I wish I could use it. I don't have magic for that, though. I'd totally look it up, though, if you had it. If you had to make an iPhone one. Just just roll out an iPhone app. You know, no problem. Yeah, like five, ten minutes. Is that cool? And uh, then I'll check it out. <laughs> uh, if only it was that easy. All right, columns, columns, columns. So let's put this to three and see what that blows up. I think this also needs to be three then. If we're hiding it down the other way. Got to finish your GitHub, yep. Oh, okay, so wait a minute. Maybe if we make this two and we drop this back, is medium a thing or small of a thing? I don't know what just happened. Okay, that didn't do it. Oh yeah, see that's a bummer right there. That's too tight. And like this is too much. Now what? Hmm. Yeah, let's experiment a little bit. Oh, so really what I need to do. Alright, I want to double everything so that I can play with half slots. Grid call, okay, this is, I'm gonna break everything right now. I'm liking this though. I'm really liking this. It definitely needs a header. I need some, I, I, I need to commission an artist to make me just like a header of some type up there. like ones and zeros or something. Oh, I could just do like a bunch of ones and zeros. Yeah, I'm gonna end up adding header. It was yeah, it was fun for 24 hours to not to mess with it or whatever, but. So, okay, that's cool. I'm not going to worry about the top. This is fine. So let's go through and try and do this. So grid calls. There's always going to be two. That's going to be six. That's going to be eight. That's going to be eight. Hidden block. Gray text, shadow. Call spin, one. Okay, well, that should definitely be a two. Call spin, two. Medium call span. I think I'm going to just double everything here, hopefully the math will take care of itself. 
This is not going to adjust the ones down there yet. I'm going to, but I want to see what's happening right here so far. Now we got interesting again. Because what if we did it as seven? That's going to bring that to about there. That's not going to be enough. What if we did it as five? I feel like this is going to be one of those things where it's just like that. It's going to be right inside. Oh, you know what? Actually, let's see what Tailwind's got. I'll bet we can get something that we like. Or it's at least really close. Where's the grid? Temper columns. 12. <clears throat> grid columns in. Utilities create grids in size. Yeah, responsive. By default, tail includes grid template column utilities for creating basic grids up to 12. You can change, add or remove these customization with that. You have direct access to column property here, so make your customization values as generic or as complicated as size as you like. By default, only responsive variants are generated you can control which variants are generated. Property and variants, for example, this config will also generate hover and focus variants. I would like to know how to use those. That really it's on the thing. And also like, what is So I don't know what min max one one fr is. It doesn't tell me what that is. Column start end. Is this so? This controlling how many elements are sized and placed across your columns. What's the start and end? Oh, interesting. Class, so one, two, three, call span two, or six, call span two, yeah, I'm with you. Starting and ending lines. Call start two, right, oh, okay, I gotcha. And call end, so you can chomp it. Wait, call start one, call start in three. That's the same thing as span. Okay, but you could do it in the middle if you wanted to, which would still be span, but whatever. Template rows. Use the grid in rows to control grids within equally sized rows. Grid, grid rows three. Grid flow column. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's interesting. Grid row start and end, right, okay, same thing. Grid auto flow. Grid flow keyword. Auto columns. <clears throat> oh, auto columns max. I got you. Responsive. Customizing. Okay, auto rows. Gap is the gap in between. That's cool. I got it. Okay. So it's funny. There's like all these Legos out there, but like they're not that many of them when you get a straightforward thing like this. It's nice. The 
it's a All right, let's do it on the max one first and see what we can get to. So max grid is 12, and same thing on large. So we're just going to do that right now. And then let's see what that looks like. OK. So if we make this first one three, wait, oh, OK. Call span three. That should move us over one. Okay. And then if we make this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That should span us out, right? And then these can be two each, which will put uh, ba, 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 ba. that's the listener. Here is this call span one, call span two. Search box needs one too. Um, I don't know about them not being lined up. Where'd my search box go? Looking right at it. So if we made it three, what does three give us? That'll match here. Oh, this might be okay. No. Okay, that's one place. We need to do it in two places. Where's the other place? It's somewhere down here. And I'm back to a four position thing. That's exactly what I started with. So the question becomes, so, okay, 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 okay. That's fine. Where's my grid? So if we go 11, see there's no good if we do 10, what do we get at 10? Actually, you know what? Hang on. Because we can actually, yeah, so in order to have four down there, so if we have five down there, okay, that's what I'm looking for. So let's do this as 10. I want to see what five down there looks like. So we got to do, we got to do a number that we can get to divisible by five or whatever. So there's that. Our area under construction, call span is two is four. Oh, this is is three. Seven seven. Interesting. Two eight. So is that That still is basically the same as if as the four thing, right? No, maybe not. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Those are threes. I don't know what's going on. There are threes. So two and two. I'm gonna put this here so it's just closer to the front while I'm working on it. Or I can just stay there, whatever, it's fine. See, it's just the the longer ones are too long. Oh wait, how to create an AWS IAM? How to create an AWS? Yeah, it doubled up. I knew that could happen. Like I'm not when I pick one out of the from the randomness of all the posts, I don't remove it from the selection process so it like it can get hit twice. And that's the first time I've actually seen that happen. It's probably happened a bunch. I just haven't noticed it. But these are just so long that they stand out. But see, those are just. Well, I guess I could back off on the size of those text blocks. I think I can anyways. Where do I build my pages? <clears throat> There's the href. Render search, div class. Where's the actual, that's the search div. Where do we build this? Push, render summary. Oh, it's in the summary. We're putting in the summary. Put it directly here. Font, text red 600. Font bold, okay. Let's is that all we're doing? Is just making it bold? Is that really just the same size as that? And it just looks completely different? Yeah. I guess it's the same size as this text. That's crazy. See, it's not bad when it's not bold like that. That that's actually okay. I'm I'm okay with this. And like this is a good like I'm okay with a little padding over here. Got that? I can actually pad it over just a little bit more. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not disappointed in this at all. Oh, it's still going. That's incredible. So this is padding three. If we do padding one here, and is there a margin up here too? No. Yeah, okay, so I want I want some horizontal padding. Padding left three, I like. Padding top two, I like, I think. Just do padding one, what do we get? Yeah, I think it needs to be, oh, let's just do padding two all the way around and see what happens. I'm 
It's a little tight. It probably wouldn't be quite as bad if I if I didn't round the corners as much, but I kind of like the rounded corner look. Um, let's see what MD looks like. Let's see what LG looks like. That's better. But so we need padding X to be three. Padding top to be one or er, two, probably. Padding bottom, so padding Y to be two. That's pretty good. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. I like that. So the search box, we need to back down a little bit. Hello! Dirt, dirt biker. Hello, dirt biker. How's it going? Welcome to the digital whatever, which is, as of today, the brand new name for the stream. Where we are trying to, A, get stuff where you can see it, B, playing around with a website, or a digital garden, as we're calling it these days. Not in a pejorative way, like I, I, like the idea of the digital garden is in my head. I'm digging it. Command comp, new dollars? Oh, right on. Welcome to the fun and frustration, but good stuff. Like being able to tell a computer what to do is awesome. Uh, frustrating at times, be forewarned. <laughs> uh, but if, if you just stick with it, it's all like, I was just thinking about this today. What's super cool about this is anything that anybody in the world can do on a computer, you can do on a computer once you figure it out because they're all the same. It's just languages and it's just cool. It's like, it's cool. Any like commands for beginning? Um, so what system are you on? Uh, Windows, Mac, Linux, what you using? <clears throat> also in about two minutes, I'm gonna have to go get a drink. So actually I'm gonna do that right now. I'll be right back. Oh, you're on Windows. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm thirsty. Oh, crap. Uh, Windows. Oh, okay. So unfortunately, I can't help you as much with Windows. Um, but what... We can probably figure some stuff out. What What are you looking to do? I guess is the first question. You're just messing around with command prompt in general? Or what's your... Are you, are you playing around? Do you got a thing you want to do? Or what's the... Where are you at? Let me find my search bar here. Search links page. Somewhere we build a search bar and we need to size it down a little bit. I think this is it. 
So one, we can take this away. Excuse me. Don't know if that came through the mic, but it was definitely there. Um, size equals quote 32, big a number. Um, just messing around, learning phase, cool. Uh, so the biggest thing that I found useful when I was first starting it was just getting the hang of like moving around um, something. Oh, hey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome to the next level of the digital whatever. Uh, so one. Th so here's a thing. Um, Windows PowerShell. So I think there's now three different command prompts uh, or terminals, call it whatever you want, um, in Windows. There's kind of the regular one, like if you do CMD, there's also PowerShell. And I know lots of people do PowerShell stuff. And then there's also Windows Linux thing. Um, or the thing was probably a little aggressive there. So there's also this window. So Windows has a set of commands and Linux has a set of commands and Mac and Linux basically have the same stuff. Microsoft recently put Linux underneath and on, or on top or whatever of Windows. So that is a possible thing to do. If you're just learning, you probably don't want to touch that. I'm just letting you know that it's out there. Um, if somebody ever talks about WSL, that's kind of what that is. Um, you can expand, but what's the best? Uh, yeah, so go, look for PowerShell would be my, again, you're, I'm not in that world, but like when I hear people who I know who do Windows stuff talk about it, they talk about PowerShell. Um, and I just saw this link which maybe I'm already on already. What is PowerShell? Where's, how do I click learning? Oh, here you go. Where did that go? Uh, getting started with PowerShell. What do you need to get started? Where do you find it? Okay, here you go. I don't know if your specific version of Windows is gonna have is gonna be exactly the same. Like they're all different things. Again, I'm not in that world, so I don't know enough about it. Um, but yeah, type PowerShell in there and see what see if it fires up. Uh, and then you look for it up there. Okay, that's cool. Uh, do not run as administrator right now. That is, if you're just learning it, not. That's not what you want to do. Oh, do you have to install PowerShell? I didn't know that. Okay. Um, yeah, don't, when you're first learning, don't run as administrator because you can bork your machine up pretty good. Um, but just to give you some basics, the first things that I would kind of learn how to do, and I don't remember the, I'm going to tell you the Linux commands or the Mac commands. Windows commands for it exists. I just don't know what they are. Um, but one of the basic things is moving around. And so on a Mac, I do LS, which is list. And this shows me like this directory. And if I look at my finder, right, that's this directory. Um, it gets sorted differently. Like, so here's desktop storage, like the sorting happens differently because of like capitals and all this junk. And then the next thing I'd work on is, is moving around, which in Again, in Mac, it's just CD. So CD to data. So now I'm in the data directory. And there's a another good command is PWD, which will, or sorry, PWD, which shows me where I am. Like my, my shell, which is a terminal, shell, terminal, prompt, command prompt, basically all the same. Um, but mine shows me where I am in general, but I can, that's how I can find it. And to be honest, that's a huge portion of working on the command line is is moving around and then like simple stuff like 
And when I mean simple, I, I'm, that's not, I don't mean it like in a building way, but like straightforward things. Uh, so I'm in data. Let's go to, uh, actually let's go to the desktop because I've got something on the desktop. So I'm going to CD, change directory again, and then desktop. Oh, tab completion is also a thing. So like all I'm doing right now is doing CD and then capital D E and I hit tab and it finishes the rest of it for me. Uh, but then your desktop and then it's like um, open Twitch checklist. Boop. There you go. So like just some of the basics, like that's that's a lot of it. And then there's a bunch of commands that you'll you'll run into on Windows. I'm guessing it's a lot like Mac, where basically anything that you can think of, there's a command to run it. So as you start messing around with stuff, just like Google, like, you know, whatever the thing is you're trying to do, space command prompt or space PowerShell and see see what comes up because there's probably a bunch of stuff out there because um, you can get you can do some really cool stuff with it. Sometimes it's a little cryptic and archaic and whatever, but like, frankly, most of the time I'm just, uh, the, the other one that I do, and I don't know if, um, I'm sure Windows has something like this, but there's a command on Mac called grep. Uh, and so what we do, grep, IRL, which don't worry about that. And then we're gonna look for the pattern um, what's actually in the Twitch checklist? Grep basically looks through files, finds um. You you say, hey Grep, I want to look for uh string, whatever, and then you hit star in this directory. Those whoops, those are all the files that have the word string in it. Um, so that's a super handy one. Oh, you got it? Cool. There you go. PowerShell. Um, where's that link we just had a second ago? Nope. Totally lost it. Oh, here it is. PowerShell, sex, this, you shouldn't have to worry about any of that stuff. Um, help system, one-liners in the pipeline. By the way, I really hope I'm not walking you down the wrong path on the PowerShell, but like, that's what I hear people talking about. Um, but again, I don't know enough. I, unfortunately, I don't know enough to tell you how to do it. The walking around the file system is one of the, is one of the first parts though, to practice that. Um, but then you can actually start go through this go through that link uh, a little bit just kind of dig through it because um, you can do not only can you run not only can you run commands directly on the script so like the other thing that you can do is make is make sorry not only can you run things directly on the command line yourself you can also make PowerShell scripts I'm going to make a, a version of that right now for Mac. Um, and so I've got an editor inside the terminal that I'm going to use called Vim. Um, and we're going to say print hello dot bash is what it's called on Mac. And so all I'm going to do for bash hello, and I'm going to copy this line. Uh oh, why? Oh, I forgot how to paste. Uh, Echo, hello, hello. There we go. So I'm going to make this file. And up at the top of it, I'm going to do this. Bin bash. So bash is like PowerShell, basically. And I'm going to do a little magic trick here where um, I'm going to change the 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 permissions of this file. That's not exactly the right word, but I can't think of the right word right now. Um, to say that the user, me, plus means can, x is execute, 
and we call it print hello. And so now you'll see when I listed the file directory first time, it was white up here. Now when I list, it's red. I guess I should do LS. There we go. So it's red. What's cool about that is if I do dot slash print, there's all the hellos that we just did. You can do pretty much anything in those shells, basically. Um, so that's a good, and that's where kind of a lot of the power comes into it is being able to like, you know, tell it to do things like, hey, go look at these files, rename them all to lowercase, making stuff up. Um, but that's that's kind of that next level is getting into shell scripts. Um, but start with just working your way around the shell a little bit. Um, and don't be afraid to experiment, like set yourself, like make a directory and put some stuff in there and you're pretty much not going to hurt anything. So don't be afraid to experiment. If it yells at you and says, Hey, are you sure you want to do that? Probably say no, but like you should be in pretty good shape. Um, oh yeah. And so another super useful one is like RM for us remove. So I'm done with that print file or the print hello file. So RM. And if I look at it now, whoops, if I look at it now, gone. So faster ways to do stuff. Super helpful and good to know in general. Uh, do you have any interest in like going beyond that and getting into like programming programming? Or what's your, uh, are you just messing around? What's your, what's your kind of forward path there? All right, so I think we change this. You want to do some programming stuff? Very cool. Um, you're starting it at a great time. Like, there's so many good resources out there. It's it can be almost overwhelming. That's actually something I should try and do is find like a list of stuff. Cool. Yeah, I'll work on that actually. Um, because I'm looking so. One of the big things for me for tech is like, it's always learning. Like I'm using a new language right now, this framework, I don't know anything about it, but like that's part of it, but I've got a, I've got a bunch of history so I can kind of get into it. You're the more you do stuff, the more easier it is to do more stuff. That makes sense. Kind of cryptic. Um, oops. Back up. Oh, this is actually cool. So I can compare. So here's the four wide one. Here's the five wide one. Yeah, I think I like the five wide better, especially because it gives a good. It gives a pretty good spacing up here. And it's actually centered pretty nice. Yeah, OK, this I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. So we need to fix this, though, uh, which I think thought we just did. Nope. Where'd it go? Oh, that's the wrong place. That's up here. Search. Text. Value. Size. 14. Pick a number. There we go. Fixed in a little bit better. Uh, 18. Sweet. That'll work. Oh, it actually centers up pretty nice. Oh, and let's see what happens. Oh, this is going to be a trick, though. Hmm. That might be a little, little tight. Um. S U S H I, sushi. That's not awful. I'm just trying to look at the like the spacing and getting into it. Um, I guess really what I should do. Is put it in a line item so that there's little breaks over there. This may break things. Oh, actually, first thing I need to do is deal with all this collapsing stuff. See what happens as we move it closer and do the responsive bits. Yeah, that's not so good. So it's that to that. I should be able to keep it there for the most part. Ooh, yeah, it's we need help. Uh, 
Okay. Now I gotta figure out how to deal with that. Um. Oh yeah, and so tech-wise, a lot of this stuff is straight experimentation and poking at things and seeing what happens. Um, it, it's absolutely a huge part of it until you until you like really know a thing, and even sometimes then there's a lot of just like well, I don't know, try this. All right, so there we got that. If we move there. That went okay, so I think that went to six. With these as twos. So can I keep that? So I went from ten. What do I want to do? Seven? No, that's an odd number. I need What if I keep it at ten? That's not awful. Yeah, that may be okay. So if we keep that at 10, this should stay at eight. I don't know if that was it or not. That this is a problem. I don't know how to deal with that. I'm not mad at these. Well, the other thing is I don't really know. I don't have a good idea of the browser sizes. Like, do people browse at this size? Do people browse at this size? Do people browse at this size? So, like, that's basically full screen. So I'm cool with that. And then you move it down. One, I don't want to flip over there. So this this feels a little tight, but I'm trying to figure out how. <clears throat> I'm trying to do the math in my head to make it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that search bar is going to be a problem. All right, let's fix that one first. So when it rolls into. I don't understand why it's doing that. I'm just going to make this go up a number and we'll see what happens. That did not fix it. One, two, three, four. Somewhere it's getting four. This is it. Eight, eight. Oh, no, 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 I know what's going on. The The column on the left side is going away, and so it's just a new one showing up on the right side. So at that breakpoint, which is MD, hidden MD, so that, no, when that hits the medium breakpoint, this... needs to go to 10. It's kind of weird because we're, it starts out this big, but as the screen shrinks, we make it go bigger, relatively speaking. Let's see if this does it. That was the wrong breakpoint. Let's try small. I don't have my head around this stuff yet. Mm, that didn't work. Uh oh, I broke everything. Uh, crap. Wait, does it get better if we make it bigger? Yes, it does. Okay. So that's what we want to have happen, but the other thing needs to disappear. 
Maybe this happens at LG? No, we've already got that. MD. Oh, uh, we broke everything. Uh oh. Ten. Small. Ten. I don't know. We're just going to bang around on this until we see what happens. Okay. That worked. That's where we have a problem. That's okay. I don't want that to happen there. Is that this? Yes, okay. Do I hack? So I would call pretty much anything that you do on computers that's like writing code and making the thing do what you want, hacking. Like I'm, I'm old school that way. I mean, that's what it used to mean. Uh, but in terms of like trying to break into stuff, mm -mm. like that's a whole different realm. Um, I know some folks who do that, like legitimately. Um, like that's their job is penetration testing. Um, but like that's a whole wild like craziness stuff that I've never I've never really gotten into it. Um, I'm interested in it, but like I've never never taken the swing at it. But it's it's like anything you put enough in like. There are classes and stuff out there that teach you how to do it because it's like a legitimate thing um, to try it for illegitimate purposes. That's a thing, too, but like that's risking serious consequences. Uh, so I, I don't mess with either. Um, but I call whatever I'm doing hacking around like whenever whenever I'm trying to do something and it's not working on it, my the and lots of people I think in the in the industry kind of call it this is like I put together a hack to fix it and so I hack together a thing um but yeah that, that word got kind of polluted as far as I'm concerned with like people think it's always bad but it's like nah just hacking stuff together um okay so we got that one going if we drop that it jumps, which is what we don't want. And also, I wish. <sighs> There's all these different sizing things. Um... C well, can you? Here's a question. Grid columns. Yeah, we can change the number of grid columns. OK, so we can change. I almost need to make another page that doesn't have that's just for playing. Okay, so there's still five down there. Now there's four down there. That's awesome. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. I still want... Is it though? So that was at small. So this is small. So I need this to be a six. Because I think this is still a two. Call span two. Yeah, let me just bring this over here so I can see it. I don't know if it matters that that's there. We're going to move it over here. Oh, we might have it. Look at this. This is good. Basically, I'm just trying to keep this text area kind of the same size. And so as, and there's like five of these down here and they're all it's lined up on a grid. So when it gets small enough. The grid shifts a little bit and like this is wider than I'd prefer. Actually, if I keep that at five, 
for another minute. What happens? So this, wait, this was still 10 and this was still eight. Is that right? That's where we change things. That's the point where we need to flip it. And at that point, we also want to flip these to four. Otherwise, they get really squished as you move smarter. As you move smarter. I like moving smarter. Sounds like a slogan. Oh, actually, I need to check one thing very quickly and just make sure I know when something is going to happen. Uh, 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 uh. Oops. I think the game's at 8 tonight. It is 8 p.m. I'm assuming they know what time zone I'm in. Okay. Cool. Uh, where? What channel? CBS. Okay. Sorry. Game tonight. <coughs> So I'm trying to figure out. I wonder where the breakpoint actually is. So that is going to. So let's move this to. Oh, 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 here we go. So this is what hides it, hides that other column. So if we move that to small. Actually, I don't know what's going to happen right now. Ooh, that's exactly what I want to have happen. I just want it to happen earlier. Oh, nope, it's not. Because that's still worked. So where's medium? Whoa, what just happened? Okay, so that's a medium breakpoint right there. Okay, with all this, it gets a little loosey goosey there. That's fine. So there's the medium breakpoint. And that's the one where we want to flip over to four. Is this all good? That's fine. That's, yeah, so it's a little tight right there, but then you're right next to that. Okay, so that's calling it five, so that's at medium. So we know where that is now. So medium columns, 10. Really, but you can't divide you can't put four into 10, so we need to make this eight. eight. Wait, 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 hang on. We need to do this at medium. Well, actually, the, the, I think this will work here. Hang on, eight. So this will freak us out, right? Yep. Actually, I'm going to do this this way, just so we have it explicit. Eight. And then down here, wait, call span two. It's already at call span two. Why is it trying to do? Crap. Why is that freaking out? Call span two here. Medium eight.
This is riveting, I know. Call span two. So why isn't that? Where is this coming from? Okay, that's all fried now. Something changed. Um. Oh, you know, it'd be helpful. Can you set colors? So I'm not sure which breakpoints I'm working with is the problem and what's going on. But if I can set a color. Oh, Tailwind's right here. Hey, what's up, Bob? I'm still playing with this padding and mushing. I know I, I'm in the area. I just can't get it lined up yet. So what I'm looking for, I want to see if I can change a color like a background color based off of size, basically based off of screen size. You can. Awesome. Okay, check this out. Now we're going to be able to figure out what's going on. Uh, as soon as I find a place to put it. So here's the title. So check this out. I think this is going to work. Div class equals whatever. And so hopefully yeah, I'm just going to actually let's just see what that does by itself. Anything? Nothing. Uh, hello. There we go. Green. Oh, hey, dude. All good. Um, and my recommendation, don't call yourself dumb. Like, you're working on the command line. You're starting to learn stuff. That's not dumb. You may be naive, and naive is not a bad thing. Also, I do that same thing all the time when I'm telling people, oh, have you tried this and tried that? Oh, wait, you're doing something completely different. Aha. I didn't think that through as much as I could. Like, dumb, eh, whatever, not a thing. I mean, it is a thing, but if you're sitting there learning the, but it's like, it's a severe thing. You're not, you ain't gotta worry about that. All right, so here's what we got. We got green. And so now what we should be able to do is do this for all the different breakpoints. So there's extra small, which is going to be red. There's small, which is going to be blue, medium, green, large, yellow. And extra large. I don't know if purple's a thing or not, but that's the only color I can think of right now. P U R P L E. <gasps> Wait, no, no. Negative Ghost Rider. Uh uh. I am not putting yellow and purple near each other today. That is the colors of the University of Louisiana State, who is our enemy this evening. So that is not. And you know what? I'm not even going to use yellow. That's that's not cool. Yeah, get that yet. See? It's fun. Yeah, get out of there. Uh, let's find a better colors, except other that aren't those awful, awful LSU colors. Red, green, blue, indigo. There we go. Indigo. 
Indigo Montoya. Alright, XL should go to gray. So this should go to gray in a second, right? Oh, no, I'm capping it at large. Okay, that's good to know. So there's our indigo. And so we should get to that large. So I can actually get, I'm gonna try and clear the decks here a little bit and get rid of this XL stuff. I wanna be really explicit about all the stuff that I'm doing but not have more stuff that I need. Also, every now and then these things jumping around freaks me out. That's on me, because that's how I wrote it, but. So this shouldn't change, right, until it hits, starts hitting the blue there, and as that comes in, we go to green. Okay, green is medium. Oh yeah, so we don't, oh yeah, I can leave that there, that's cool. And so medium, what we want to have So there's the five coming in, and then it crashes down into the four. I like this, do I? So it's gonna jump, but that's an awful lot of white space. So let me bring... Medium eight, let's go medium six. Wait, aha, here it is. Medium went to eight up here. This is call span two still, so that's fine. This needs to go to six. And that should Led Zeppelin in the year, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize that I can't play it for you, but copyright is murder. Not murder, but whatever. Okay, I'm not mad at this at all. So that's still green. All the way through there. That's a huge breakpoint. That's not awful though. This is still this is still enough space. That's fine. It's a little tighter here than I'd like, but that's okay. It's still fine. Yeah, okay. And then All right, so we go into blue. JSON data sheets, nice. Uh, what do you mean by JSON data? I mean, I do JSON, I got it. But what do you mean by data sheets? I don't know what data sheets means. Like just JSON files, or is it like a is data sheet a specific thing? I'm sure it's a specific thing. What it? <laughs> what you talking about? Oh, trying to learn how to make them. That's cool. Yeah, is, is so I guess my question is, is a JSON data sheet just a JSON? Just JSON files. Oh, okay, gotcha. Cool. Oh, let's actually look for JSON instead of Java. I was like, why is it bringing up Oracle? And Google Sheets. Yeah, okay, so it's just, just a JSON then. Cool, right on. Um... I don't remember if this one's live. Yeah, so this one doesn't update live. There may be another one that's out there live, but when you're doing basics, I find that one helpful because like, and make small, like, so the way that I work on this kind of stuff um, and everybody's got their own style, but like 
I would make very small changes. So like, you know, whatever people. And then I would just say, if I want to have an array of people, I just make the array without populating anything. And then I check it and I'm like, is that cool? It's cool, valid. Um, the other, actually, you know what? I'll bet, I'll bet VS Code, do you use VS Code? I'll bet it has JSON stuff. You may have, you may be way in front of me on all this stuff. I'm just, this is kind of thinking out loud. Um, if you're, if you're starting to work on them. Um, Do I have any JSON files in here? Nope. Uh, that's a lot of content files of what that is. Config. It's Toml. Here, Scratchpad. Let's put something in the Scratchpad. We'll just check. VS code. JSON, check, JSON. Oh, with the JSON viewer extension? Okay, that's cool. Uh, does it autocomplete for you? Because this has some nice autocomplete going on. Ooh, that's red. Why is that red? Oh, because I use single quotes, because I'm used to Python right now. Um, yeah, VS Code also, if if Notepad++ starts messing with you, that's worth taking a look at. I don't know if I installed an extension or not. Um, are you running into issues or anything, or, or is it just like you're practicing? Are you, have you hit anything particularly that you're, uh, that's stumping you? Or, because it's sometimes like getting those trees is like... One level, okay. Four levels, brain melt. Uh, uh, find me. All right, so we got that, and then we go to four. I'm cool with that. And then there's where things break, when it goes blue. Losing it. Where, 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 where? Oh, here it is. Wait, nope, here. No. What am I looking at? Oh, I'm on the wrong page. Blue is small. So when we go small, we need to define. What are we looking for in small? Four. Do we want to drop it to three? I think we want to drop it to three. And we don't need to worry about. Oh, no, these are always two across. So if we do it to six, we should be in good shape. Using a website as well, to learn all the data types and JSON, like integers and stuff. Oh, right on. Whoops. Wrong window. Stand by. Please hold. Copy link address. Why don't we come here? We'll put it at the end. Also, I have to order food soon. It's very important that I eat food. Next version has been released. Counts to me. cool. Right on. Oh yeah. No joke. JSON generator. So Oh, repeat five through seven. So does that make upload JSON server, copy JSON object ID? Oh, this is interesting. How do you tell it? So repeat five through seven. 
ID, object ID. So does that mean, oh, and it collapses too? That's going to, yeah, so there's another one. And it's actually giving you different IDs. What data is this getting from? Or is it just kind of like, because this is the homepage. That's cool. Are these just all the things that it gives you to play with? Because, like, I'm not seeing anything where you upload stuff. Help. Random. List of template tags. Oh, cool. That's super cool. Floating, I saw floating up here somewhere. Minimum, maximum, fixed, and format. Minimum, maximum, fixed, two points, and format. But this is super interesting. So like you could do, and it does this stuff randomly, right? So, uh, states, oh, I should have definitely, definitely, definitely taken this somewhere else so that I can uh, look back at the syntax. So repeat, so you're in a list and then the repeat, where's the repeat thing? Object ID, new. MongoDB's global UID, yeah. Form up some text, okay. Floating date, here's repeat. No repeats for an array item. Repeatable arrays must contain, repeatable array must contain only two items. First is a repeat tag. Second is the item. Gotcha. Oh, oh, okay. So this, in this list, I gotcha. Okay, cool. So let's, let's see if we can make this work. So we're gonna make a new top level thing. We're going to make states, which is spelled this way in it. We're going to make a list or a array, whatever. And the first item is going to be this. And then the second item, we just do a state. What am I looking for? State, street, state, one of these. And then we want to do from whatever, five to 10. What's that going to do? Nope, nothing. It doesn't like something that I did. What doesn't it like that I did? Mix spaces and tabs. What? Oh, it's just a warning. Okay. Expected back squirrely back at to mix front. Mm, they do. You take those away, what does it do? That doesn't look right. Mix spaces and tabs, whatever. Expected that from line three, saw. Oh, bummer. Remove quotation marks on states. Oh, oh, so you're not making. Still possibly angry. Repeats. Oh, 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe, hang on. Do we have to put it in a thing here? I don't like that either. Repeat. So I'm in a list. Or a dictionary. Alright, we're going to try something different. We're going to do this. We're going to paste all this stuff back in. And we're just going to take a whole bunch of stuff away. Add the boop to the repeat. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Like this? Uh-oh. What's that doing? Hey! There you go. Good call. That's pretty cool, especially because they have the Federated States of Micronesia in there and Guam. I've never heard of this place before. That's super cool. Ah, so. I would point out that you're learning two things. You're learning this you're learning this tool and you're learning JSON. Like just keep that in the back of your head. You're probably already there, but like you can get to the JSON stuff without doing this. This is super cool for the generation, but recognize that just like I had to do, there's mental overhead there. You're probably already there, just want to make sure you're I thought through that. Um because like this, you know, this isn't JSON, this is their generating syntax, which is awesome, by the way. That's super cool. Uh, all right. Give me Alabama now. Nope. Nope. There it is. Roll Tide. All right. That's what I was looking for. Repeat 5 to 10. Oh, okay, so it's also a random number. So if I do 10, 10, it'll always give me 10. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Sweet. That's pretty slick. I like that a lot. Yeah, whenever you're... It's super easy to... to miss that type of fact when you're working on a thing. It happens to everybody all the time. Um, but like, I was working on a new framework and then all of a sudden I needed to do some more JavaScript stuff. And I thought I was learning the same thing, but it's different. And it's fine. It's just if you you want to make sure you're aware of it or try to stay aware of it, I guess is the trick. Because um, you can sp like if you spend like if your goal is to learn JSON, really. Don't fight against the JSON generator too much. If you if you pick it up quick and it's easy to do, cool. But it's that's not actually your goal, right? Um, at least I don't think that's your goal. Your favorite state is Georgia. I'm okay with Georgia. Georgia's all right. Um, I I almost went to the University of Georgia. Uh, it was just out of state tuition was way more expensive than in state. Um, so that made it, and I was not a scholarship student. To put it mildly. Uh, I I definitely. I definitely had a lot of fun in college, uh, but I was not the best student in the world. Um, Jason, sorry, I'm just putting in, I'm adding your tool to my uh, pin board thing here. Uh, online tools. Yeah, that's good enough text, okay. Uh, I need to do a thing. Uh oh, missed those. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry, bear with me one second. I gotta get some food coming. I could sing along, but nobody wants that. Uh, nope. Where is 
this. That. 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 Boop, 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 boop. I do also love that I don't actually have to talk to anybody on the phone to order food. And these days that they'll leave it on my porch without me having to talk to them there either. Cause sometimes it's just like, it's cool. Like I don't mind what well, delivery folks all cool or whatever. Actually they're largely cool. So, um, but like sometimes it's like, you know what? I don't want to have to do the whole like, Hey, yeah, no, cool. Great. Thanks. Though the in-person stuff, I actually don't mind nearly as much. It's the calling. I just, I never liked calling. I don't like talking to people on the phone. Um, all right, yeah, so that's cool. I'm, I'm happy with this. So we go, we go from five to the four. Yeah, if we were pushing, if we were pushing five across there, that would get too tight. And then here, boop. We want to, so we're going to keep, what color was that? That was blue and blue. It, whoops. I don't know where everything went. Um, blue and blue is small. I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't think we need that. So small. Grid calls six. Interesting. Not what I was expecting. Okay, so that's six. Oh, 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 so here I need to do small. Call span six, because I want that one to go across 100%. Is this gonna work? There you go. And the other ones to be, so it's six columns, but everything else is two. So that keeps it at a three for, and I'm okay with that. And then we get to this point and here. Oh, it's funny. It doesn't have a size for that. All right. I guess it's the zero with size. So for that, we just need call span two, because I think everything else is a two at that point. And grid calls two. There we go. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I like that. OK, that's a good I'm with that. Yeah, and the thing is, so it's funny because like originally on the home page, and this is gonna look actually semi different now, right? I was having the home page on the left because I wanted some distinction to it, but I think I'm just gonna keep everything on the right all the time and just make that the thing. All right, so I need to take some of this stuff out. So let's get that out of there. Let's get our border finder out of there. And hopefully this is zip. There you go. Yeah, I'm not angry at this at all. Oh, I know what I want to do. I want to push this over just a little bit more. Um, 
So that's this. Padding three. What if we do padding four? Is that going to get this? Yeah. All right, I like I like this space, but I want the X space to go more. So for the horizontal, so the vertical is cool. So vert and then, but the horizontal, I want to go one more and see what happens. So there's P for the X dimension. Here's P for the Y dimension, which we're going to keep at four. One more. Six. Okay, so I'm gonna I think that's what's gonna be it, but I'm gonna keep pushing because I wanna see it go too far. Because sometimes like that actually looks better. Like I, I thought I was done, but now I like that one better, I think. So we're li like, there's a little bit of a weird thing going on with the spacing here, but like, I'm kind of okay with it. Actually, yeah, that's still fine. See, now it's definitely getting too far, but again, I want to keep pushing it just because I want to see. What it looks like. It's actually not awful all the way over there. See now, see it's gone far enough away from this that it doesn't, that like it's made its own line. And we're gonna push that down one. Whoops, and by one I mean five. I'm kind of happy with that. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And like, maybe one more. Let's just see again. Uh, actually, we're gonna go two more. I just wanna see it push. 13 apparently is not a number that they have in the mix. We'll go to 14. Oh, see, that's not bad either. Look at that. Mmm, this is shaping up nicely. Again, I'm just gonna keep pushing beyond what I think is reasonable. That's definitely too far, but we're gonna go one more. See you, Bob. I'm not angry at this. Yep. Apparently not a number. All right. Wait, 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 wait. leave that. All right, I'm just gonna play with one dimension for a minute. I'm gonna get all one dimensional. That's kind of cool, actually. I like that centered in there like that. Now let's see with some longer ones. Ooh, that's super pleasant is what that is. That's super pleasant. Doesn't work quite as well with the longer. I need a longer piece of text. Show me a longer piece of text. I need to center those. That's fine. We can deal with that. I want a little more text, a little more space under the header. 
Oh crap, that's in single title. Partial single title.html. Single. Wait, what? Ah, uh, these files move all the time. I do not believe they stay in the same place. I believe they migrate. Also, how do I move? I think there's stuff over that way, isn't there? Oh, maybe not. Partials, that's the word I'm looking for. Single title. MB4, I forget what MB4 is. But margin, oh, margin bottom. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, let's see what six looks like. Ooh, I'm kind of digging this. I'm really kind of digging this. I want a little more pot potting, a little more potting, a little more potting. Potting's good. So, MB2. MB1, or just one. I like that a lot. I really like that. Yeah, I'm gonna, whatever, this is all jacked anyways, but like, I'm just gonna move everything over there so it's all the same thing. Ah, do I need to go back one more? Like, I really like the spacing centering there. Let me go back one. Let me figure out where that went to. Okay, wait, 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 whoops. Zip, 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 zip. Areas under construction, that is completely the wrong thing. PX, PY, 20. 18 didn't exist, right? It's 16? Oh, that's gonna be a bummer. That's too far, I want it right in between those two things. But 18 isn't a thing, I don't think. Nope. But if I add just a little bit, so P left 20, P right 22. Did nothing. Twenty four. Hmm. See, that's not bad. Okay, I want a little less space up top now. But similar, so top 10, PB 12. If we add just a little bit extra stuff down there, see what that does. Is that it, that just move?
I'm I'm kind of digging this. I, I need to f I need to figure out that spacing on the bottom. Um, is 13 a thing? 13 would be great. Nope. <sighs> Once again, I want it right in the middle. Now I just need to make a decision if I want too much or too little, or like if I which side of the preference I'm going to land on. I generally like things punched up a bit, but like that looks just a touch high. It looks better down here. Uh, actually, this is a good one. Let me see what this looks like at 14. This is super nitpicky stuff. Ah, I like this better. Okay, that's it. I like that better. When you've got a full thing going. I'm super pleased with this. Yeah, and this is fine too. Okay, that's a good that's a good pad. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. I like that right there. I think it was a 14, right? Yep. Oh, I should watch that. So does that break at any point? No, it's okay there. It's okay there. It's okay there. It's okay there. Fits in the whole place. Sweet. That's pretty solid. Okay. I think that's going to do it for me for right now. Uh, holy cow, that's six hours. Um, Bob, I hope you made it back because I'm about to tap out. Actually, I'll give you... Uh, are you there? Because I'll say bye to you if you're there. If not, I'll wait for a couple minutes. Um, I guess I could throw it in chat. All right, I got a couple more minutes anyways. So this is funny, like I'm, I'm enjoying this so much that I kind of don't want to do anything else right now. Uh, but I do need to push that down just a little bit. Where is the bottom? So this is where we're putting all of our things. Bottom equals six. We want a little padding here on the bottom. Oh, bummer. I'm really surprised that that was a problem. Well, what if we just do padding? Ta-da. Also, let's make it like 10, 12. Ten. Day tripping. That could mean a couple things. I'm not sure when I wrote that post. I'm really liking this. So I used to do all these note card things, and these kind of remind me of the note cards, and that's awesome. In fact, I can have photos of the note cards at some point. That'll be a thing. Uh, this is cool. I'm really happy with this. Do I already have a window open? I do. Get add dot get commit message 
Update style on single page. Oh, what's that scratch pad thing in there? That's fine. Whatever. It's cool. Yeah, I'm going to move this search so it's not random. <sighs> that was fun. But it needs to be in one place. Ah, that's a bummer. Like, it, I, I had fun with that. I had fun with that. This is cool. I'm happy with this. I'm digging this. Yeah, this is cool. This is very cool. Yeah, and so what I can actually do to help break this up a little bit is have some kind of like crossbars, some like thin little things with like categories, so like current favorites or, um, and then just like randomness or whatever, and then more randomness. Yeah, you could actually do, I don't know, you could do a bunch of interesting stuff is what you could do. Um, Oh, you know what I should do is make like a to I should st I should stabilize stabilize I'm looking right at the word stabilize uh put a sticky one there that's just like the to-do list or the ideas I'm really happy with this I'm very pleased with this And the thing is, I so like, that's a terrifying video, by the way. I was trying to find one that just looks like a card and now they're all gonna be big photos. I need business cards, there you go, whatever. More from Ken Rockwell. Yeah, I really like this. Feel, this note card feel. Um, Oh, the other thing I could do is go through and figure out how many dead links there are on my blog or on my site, on my garden, in my garden. Yeah, cool. All right. Uh, I got to run. It's getting to game time and hopefully food's going to be here in a minute and that would be awesome. So uh, I'm going to tap on out. Uh, I do, yeah. Thanks for stopping by. You aren't there right now, are you, Bob? Because I'm about to chat you. Sweet. All right. Got to tap out. Have a good one. We'll see you all next time. Uh, take it easy. Take care. Be kind. And uh, roll tide.